is your beef? Why do you have such a problem with me? Can we get the real Andy? I would prefer the real Andy. Oh, let's get the real Max. I'll take off my mask when you take off your mask, brother. Because um, you, uh, who's your who's your new favorite YouTuber, Ian, that wanted to to be on the show with us? Uh, the the Madman, <laughs> the Madman, Mad Movie Man. Let's bring on Max Movies because he scares the living shit out of me. Hold <laughs> on. Oh wow! Uh, Mad Max says, uh, "I think you should." Uh, I think you should apologize, right? I'm sitting here in a goddamn hey. torn down pool house. I don't even know who you are. It's torn apart, okay? It's torn apart because I'm remodeling on my $70 webcam, okay? I'm no better than you. Uh, movie Madness Entertainment, welcome. Welcome, uh, everyone. Can we please talk? No, Joe. Good God. Oh, my God, Joe. I'm telling you what, RJ. Dude, that is uh, haunting. I for that's nightmare fuel. Protection. Do not go into a dark stream yard blank with Joe and Perp. I've never what? been. I didn't do anything. Perp. Wait, what happened? You, did, you know, what happened? they made me react to the strangest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Whatever. There fish heads. There was clowns. <laughs> there was. There was. Uh, uh, trolls. Goblins. <laughs> Trolls. Goblins. 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 Zeno wasn't there, bro. Oh my. <laughs> what, what, RJ? Were there bears and tigers? Oh my. I would have preferred that. You um, prefer bears, huh? Hey, ask the fish head anything you want no, to. No, I do not. They won't oh answer. God, it's they looking at me. There's eyelashes and lipstick on I it. I know, and it's screaming it for help. Just, get it? It looks like it's something like, that skin. would do that to a fish head is like a farmer that goes too far. It's screaming no, for its good. skin that was just Don't ripped off its flesh. lipstick Get on a fish head. What are you doing oh. with that fish head? Gross. I have a question. No. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Arch. Uh, Max, are you planning to watch WrestleMania this weekend? Yes, uh, I've Mania. got some stuff to do tomorrow. Tolati told me he was setting it up tomorrow. He's like, "Are you ready to watch WrestleMania? We're going to do a watch is, party." Isn't it tonight? And then he's like, isn't "And I don't it, have Peacock." Isn't no, it tonight it's, and it's, tomorrow? Uh, it's, it's tomorrow night and then Sunday night. <laughs> I was going to go down there, but I, I'm not feeling well, so I don't know what I'm going to now. Hmm. Just like I was going to just go and do check out. Tickets? Tickets? Okay. No, no, I just was going to go hang out in the parking movie, lot and like film people going madness. in and stuff. Remember, if you're just getting here, the thumbs up. And then Joe made me get on camera for that. Like I thought it was going to be something like really next level. Are you? Max, are you kidding? Uh, you thought I was going to show you that and not see the look on your face? Give me a break. What was he? Was he showing like penis? It was basically no, 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 no. <laughs> I would prefer that. We should react to it on here right now. No, I don't want to get my stream taken down. Well, qu well, are you going to watch both nights, Max, or just the first night? If I can, like I said, I always my my time's always limited. Is my my biggest issue. I'm going like, to be I, I, about I would love to be on YouTube more. That's can I why use your I did channel? Can I use your channel, basis. Max? Can I no. use your channel to stream about? Anyways, movies? you left, douche. Can I come back in? You okay. left. I you refused to retire me. Stream, now you're keeping me here. Yard blank that's not I'm in a limbo. I'm in a state left. of limbo, Max. You won't let me retire. You won't give me access to the channel, so I could talk about movies in your movie madness entertainment channel. You can come, but you you're the one that left, douche. I left because I was supposed to be retired, and you're supposed to retire me. I'm gonna it's retire like being, for good. It's like being knighted, but with retirement. I like that. Please officially get the fish head off. You have here. a sword. It's really bothering. Do you have a sword? Do you have a sword? Do you have a sword, Max? Yes or no? What? Do you have a sword? No. Oh. Can you get oh, one? Oh, Anthony wants a link. Let me send Anthony a link. Is that all right? I want to be. I want to be come in. retired Anthony, by you. Please, please <laughs> like watch the, the queen. Language. Knights people, I want to you want retire. Me to knight you? Yeah, but in retirement, your sword like you knight me. It's never happened. That'd be so cool. That's how you retire people. Uh, That's why RJ is never really retired because you know you never did that. Let, let me see like what that. rational skeptic is saying. Five dollars. Oh gee, another episode of MMB where Max can't help himself but complain and ramble about James Gunn quality content. You go there, buddy. Uh, I don't complain about his content. 
I he can't he can't help himself because what do I mean by the title of the stream? Because he's on he's interacts with fans so much, people expect him to comment on this rumor. Whereas if you, you didn't talk, expect then, it, you didn't expect I, it yesterday. I, I didn't. I you I said oh he's not going to comment on this because I think it's in there because I think there is a, a Wait, and you I just said people there. expect. Can you pick one? What, people expect people ex but everyone expected but you oh, i'm gonna ask rj doesn't james gunn <laughs> comment so much that people expect him then respond to everything now i think people look to him yeah. for answers yes so he so i think when a story like this comes out there's an expectation that if yes not, he'll come out and say something so he kind of like i think no and you guys to... and all these people are playing though <laughs> well if he doesn't say no it must be true so he has to say no it's coming back to that <laughs> because point. It, well hold on though that's that's what he said though he said unless i, I confirm it yeah. it's Ooh. not true well that's true maybe but then he can't let it go when it's a really stupid i, I don't know whatever he, he he talks so much that he, he has to address everything. That's why I said he, he can't help himself. Now he now he's in his part where people expect him to respond. Whereas if it was did occasionally, he wouldn't have to comment on everything. You know, but I honestly do think, spoiler warning, that there is a new another version of Superman like Ultraman in it. Because he didn't, he, if it, if there was, if there was no truth to it whatsoever, I think he would be mocking that. Oh, that's hilarious! Where did people come up with this stuff? But no, the only thing he debunked is that he picked the one scooper that said it's the main villain, and said he did it sarcastically. Let me bring up the uh, Anthony's here because you also thought it was the main villain. I mean, to be fair, you did thought that Ultraman was the main villain. He they literally just he he didn't clone. pick he also. The story was brought up again because yesterday's stream, Talade brought it up again because on that guy that James Gunn responded to brought it brought it up, and now there was more quote unquote legitimacy <laughs> to the rumor. So James Gunn responded to the biggest source, I guess. It wasn't he just picked the guy. I, out that's of, my speculation. To, that he know, picked know, the, he picked the but one you yourself with something in yesterday's that he, stream cherry picked said that, that he can, and that that's why it was even brought up as a story again. When you guys didn't even believe it. seem like he's debunking it, but he's not really debunking it. Just okay. like okay. When, I mean, people well, went, I mean, when people said mm -hmm. that there was a Middle East um, with t terrorists in the su original Superman legacy script, he's like, ha ha, liars. No truth. I don't oh, and then yeah, later I'm on, talking yeah, yeah, specifically on, about what you said, why he picked that one part. specifically is because you yeah. yourself gave the game away when that was the biggest one, the most reputable one, and probably the one that people were sorting, sourcing because True. so much so that you brought True. it up again yesterday when you were done with the topic yeah, days I before. I don't even know what you're saying. Probably. He has a point. He has a point. Though. Um, that's why he responded to that specific comment in those specific words. No, I, I yeah, not these word games he's playing. I, I guarantee you, if the rumor got brought up one one time like it did, he wouldn't know. He wouldn't say anything. Like he wouldn't say anything. No, but but it got brought up now, again. Yeah, because it and builds, then he has, and then it has to respond. Yeah. So, yeah. I I right. can understand. I I understand uh, uh, responding again because that rumor went out for like three days since Wednesday. In like a week. No, since a week, either Wednesday or a week, whatever it was, it came out. And it was that doing rumor. nothing but building. Nothing. He was working building. with the Now this guy's saying it. Now and then, and then, and then, then build, and it was going to build. And then, and then again, he you came guys out are going to ruin your own experience with that movie. I'm not I ruining nothing. I like the people that are weird are the ones that like. He's sleeping the dog. Like... Max, you see, his dog is better than yours. What? That is a, that's a nice dog. It's not a competition with dogs. Yes, All dogs should be loved. Shout out, dog man. It's a competition. It's competition with dogs. Yes. By the way, Max, I saw you're never going to see it, but I uh, can I promote it in your channel? The first Omen was an absolutely incredible, incredible horror film. Wow, I was blown away. I must be the Monkey Man. I um, I dare really, say that uh, the first Omen is the best directed movie I've seen. The Richard, the Richard Donner Oppenheimer, one since Oppenheimer, like in terms of direction of how solid it is. It is such a good movie. Don't see it though, Max. Everyone well, else I, I, see it. Yeah, I don't want to see I mean, that. Max will get scared. He can't see No, no, things. Max, I understand. I understand. I Max. mean, what about Monkey Max? I understand what, what horror Monkey, movies um... he sh he can't see and what he can't. I understand Max very well. And I take yeah. that serious. So, the, so the thesis statement of this James topic, James Gunn topic, is that he's stretching the truth a little? Yes. 
or he cherry picks things and makes it, you know, he frames it in a way that I, makes I, you think I'm they're sorry, crazy. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I have a sneaking suspicion that he answered this very carefully yeah. and very deliberately so as not to ruin a surprise that's already kind of been out there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'll be honest. I would do the same thing. Like, the, it been, whatever it was when the rumors started three, or see, weeks, if he three just days ago say, a week, and then somebody again come out again to say something so, about the rumor. And then him had to If respond. he didn't say anything, yeah. people might forget about it. Honestly. Yeah, but then again, they brought it up. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure somebody on set, probably a cast member, because they they are people well, in that the cast. Here, they're like, oh my god, here we go. Let's be real. <clears throat> Gun. If it was all up to James Gunn, the leaks would not go out there. He doesn't like leaks. The no, very I, I wouldn't quote, know because leaks is not very fun sometimes. Quote, yeah. he, he says, uh, "Why do you want everything spoiled anyway?" He that has a point. He has a point. Think. That he has I point. know, and I know Joe's on board, um, on board with that sentiment as well. But there's some people that support the industry that love rumors and scoops and stuff. But that is another clue to me there's personally. Also people in that is that there's some to, credibility to, to, to this specific rumor. To this, that is, to this that has room, the point with that one. As well, I want to yeah. get RJ's expert because RJ likes scoopers too. You know. RJ yeah. is a scooper. 100%. Yeah, I love scoop. I've never had any issues with scoopers in my No, no, no. Life. RJ is a scooper. But you yeah. do like scoops too because you you know you you fall over Grace Randolph. You you fold some other scoopers even though you had some I'm not Who's your I don't want to bring up scooper, the scooper RJ. I, no, I I'm just saying Why'd you do that to me, RJ? You know you like scoops too because Yeah, you know, RJ, you know, who's your favorite scooper? You're you're I'm even going to forget what I was going to ask him. You messed me up, Perp. Okay, so RJ, with with James with James Gunn here, with that last part where he says, "And why would you? And why would you want to be spoiled anyway? Are you like me? I think that's also a kind of a clue there. Like, oh, okay, maybe there is. Does that lend it more to make you think that? Yeah, maybe there is something to this rumor." For me personally, that's subjectively what I think he's doing. I think that's revealing a little bit more too. And why would you want to be ruined anyway? You know, he oh, doesn't yeah. really yeah, he I, doesn't I, really I, forward address the actual rumor. He says, "Oh, he's not the main villain." He does sarcastic, like, "Oh yeah, Lex Luthor's not the main villain. Superman's not the main hero." Ha 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 ha. And why would you want to be spoiled? Anyway? Yeah, he's literally <laughs> just saying that Lex is just the. Uh... The villain, the main vein, I'm like the guy who's pulling the strings. You could say, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's part of it for sure. I think, I think there's an element of, hey, like, even if this was true, I'm not saying it is, but if it was, why would you want to know, like, a year? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, I mean, they again, they're always like they're very deliberate in the way that they say things for yes. a reason. I think he is. I think he he's very careful. Max isn't. Tweets. I'm not careful. No, no. And I say he that. didn't say spoil once. He said, "Why would you want to know everything?" And that is true. Why do you want to know? Because, like, I, I, I get you know, some st- I, could, I could understand Thank people. TW. I could understand people. I know you want to know some stuff for your favorite upcoming up movie. I'm very interested but, to but, see what's going to happen. And, but, and if it doesn't come true, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I agree. Care. Yeah, but, 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 like, I understand people want to be, oh, yeah, I want to see what's, what's happening with my favorite movie coming out in 2025. Like, do you, like, I come guys, on, like, relax, please. Do you guys think kind of the negative reaction? Mm-hmm. That was towards the second Doctor Strange movie could have done, could have been because of people's expectations set by scoopers. Oh, oh my god, bro! What, I, I get, you, don't you, you think that's like, harmful? Then yes, yes, because uh, everybody thought. I, 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 I think I disagree movies, there. I right, one at a time, please. I, RJ, go first. Well, I think this some is my movies, show. But we want to hear what RJ has to say. Yeah, RJ your has show. Yeah, yeah, before that. Hi and hello, everyone. Thank you, Voltaire. Thanks for joining uh, us. Okay. I think some movies are more impacted by Scooper and Lee Culture than others. Mostly the movies I feel are the ones most impacted when it comes to superhero movies are the ones that are like the multiverse cameo fests. Like your like your Spider Man's, your your multiverse of madnesses, and even your Deadpool threes. Because those movies are so self reliant on the gimmick of, oh, who's gonna show up? Right? And in the case of Multiverse of Madness, it was the case. Well, <laughs> on, let me go. Let me go in order. With Spider-Man: No Way Home, it was okay. Every the, here's a, who's all showing up. It was yeah, kind of like yeah. happening is not happening, right? But that was a fun one because like okay, we all kind of think they're going to be in there, but are they not going to be in there? You know. Mm-hmm. 
Multiverse of Madness had the issue of people were saying all these people are going to be in this movie, and then they were, and then the cameos that were there, they all got murdered in like a very brutal and horrific way. <laughs> you know, which That's I didn't mind. Awesome. I didn't mind. But I know some people were turned off. It was great. I know well, some people were turned I, off by that whole sequence. I, and then with Deadpool 3, the last time I'm hearing with that, based on what people were talking about, is it's going to be another situation where people think all these characters are going to show up. That is not what's happening with this movie. I don't think Scoopers ruined it there. I think Marvel itself with Spider-Man before Doctor Strange came out, kind of like, wow, they did this. They're, they're going to go all out for the next one. I think that's what did it. Mm, no, not I mean, really, it's a combination of what they did. Who did what? Why would the studio, did, who, what, what what the studio confirm? Did what are they going to do for the next one? What? Yeah, well, why would the studio Spider-Man confirm? Spider-Man okay, no Home delivered so much. Well, I think all, no, but didn't yeah. Doctor Strange come first? Well, no, no, no. no well, out. it was Doctor Strange. Well, second. it was supposed to be Doctor Strange first because uh, it was supposed the to issue come out. But then COVID messed that up. a certain expectation of that movie in their heads because the movie's called Multiverse Madness, and like, and it's by Sam fucking Raimi. Well, sorry for cursing. Sorry for cursing. No, no, swear jar night. One dollar. Potty mouth. Well, we got thirty-four people watch. Is one of you? Is one of you my time to shine? Hello, because we're on X as well. Because I know you called out James Gunn today, and I agree with you. Even though I like James Gunn, I know I know what he does. Like I could still be a fan of him and know what he does. I've long said, I James Cameron, I love his work. I think he's kind of a douche as a director. And he also BSs it to the audience when he doesn't direct it himself. Like he's like, oh yeah, this is a good movie when he has when he benefits from it in some way. Yeah, pretty the, much every Terminator movie. Yeah. He, was, uh, he was honest uh, about uh, Terminator Genesis. It was terrific, right? That's exactly like I said with uh, <laughs> with James Gunn. I put James Gunn right there with uh, with uh, um, James Cameron. Uh, how dare so you? That's not, too far no, back. No, 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 no. No, when it's not his movie, he overly promotes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he benefits in some way, just like, ja- just yeah. like James Cameron I mean, but did. That, but that's also just being a good trooper. I mean, that's your job. Your job. No, you don't have to over. There's a difference between being positive being, and overselling. If you're being paid, There's a difference between, you know, saying, oh, I enjoyed this movie. It's one of the best superhero movies of all time. That's where I don't believe it. That was crazy. I know Joe. I know Joe it, and Perp. It was accurate, though. It was okay. one of the best of all time. Okay. Sure, Joe. Okay. To your opinion, sure. Yeah, one, of the, one of the best that nobody went to go see. If I, I, and I honestly, when I saw the Flash with you, Joe and Bruce and and Andrea and Soup, uh, and if I and if I listened and I was expecting one of the best superhero movies of all time, I would have been disappointed. But I had low expectations. That's why I enjoyed it, and I was a lot with friends. Yeah. You know, I have a I have a hot take prediction. I think Deadpool 3 is going to disappoint a lot of people. That is a hot take indeed. <clears throat> uh, and not because of the movie itself. I think the movie itself is going to be great. Ooh, I got to go to eBay. I forgot. There's a meet. I put a notification up for Meteor, Meteor Man on VHS. That's cheap. Meteor Man VHS. Really? Oh, I was going to send you that because Bill Cosby's in it. Is he in it? I haven't yeah. seen it in the longest time. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna make it my goal to send well, you. Is that okay if I? It's only a few tapes. bucks. I haven't seen it in forever, and it's actually a rare tape. Yeah. It's not that much. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. That's no, right. no, you're fine. I, no. I'm still gonna send you Leonard Part Six and The Devil and Max Devlin, and you know. Oh, I saw that on. Uh, I saw that on eBay. I put it in my cart just because I was like, "Oh, it has Bill Cosby with horns on." But I was and, not going to. And Elliot not, Gould. It's actually expensive. I'm the kids love that. Elliot Gould. You don't man. really have it's, that, do you? No, I'm going to find all this for you because because you got to have. What's with, you with the banner? Bill Cosby collection. What's mm-hmm. with the banner, Max? Joe's right. I Elliot Gould is in favor of the Zoomers. The Zoomers love Elliot Gould. He's having a revival. My takes are amazing. My takes are amazing, especially because I get people reacting. They get people reacting so hard, like Perp. He's like, why am I doing this? I can't make it. But he's still reacting. What are you talking about? <laughs> On your stream. What, what, was, what exactly was my argument, Max? Say it. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah. Well, I, want, I, wanted to think, I want to finish my quick take, though, real quick. Um, I think Deadpool 3 is going to disappoint a lot of people. That's my hot take. Uh, I mean, did you see that fucking teaser? They, oh, oh. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not cursed yet. And that's that number teaser, two. That teaser. 
I was absolutely well, blown Mark, away on people's positive reaction to that super teaser. sticker or something. Come on. All right, all right. You got us demonetized again. Okay, I sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. I need my ad revenue. Perp's girlfriend doesn't allow him to have a credit card, so he can't super chat. Yeah, he, he got to loan the money. 99 cents is not. If you, if you love Elliot Gould, send a super chat that says, I love Elliot Gould. That's $5. fair. $5. I mean, he's in, can can he is in Canada, in Canada, so that's... But the reason I say that, it's not because I don't think the movie's going to be good. All I right. think Deadpool you know 3 what? is, this is a, a good movie. Oh, but wow, $2. Thing. All right, this because, is... You're actually going to help me get Meteor Man. Look at this copy and, th and let me know if I should bid. It's $5. I love bucks. Meteor Man. No one, no one's even bid on oh it. Oh my god! I forgot this? about this movie man. ever existed. Look, it's a rental copy too. It says, "Please rewind." James Earl Jones. I, kinda, I haven't that, right? seen this. I haven't. I only rented it. You know, technically, you could say this is the first Hell. black superhero movie ever. Yes, make it that, is. Make that yeah. image bigger at the bottom. Let's see, let's, see, let's see. Let's see the cast at the I, bottom. Hey, you, oh my god! Where, where is yeah, where James Earl Jones was in it with a flat top. Perfect. Oh, Bill. There he is, Bill Cosby. Look at Simbad. Look at how young Simbad looks. Man, That's there was a lot man, of he was, he was Marla, Marley you know what, Gibbs. Bill you know what's crazy? He was supposed to be in Shazam too, man. His stuff got cut Kelly. out. Kelly, so, so, no, he, he never was actually in it. That was uh, got, that was all a joke. Freaking Ryan Price? Reynolds. No, he wasn't in it. The director confirmed it. I asked Zachary Levi, and he said that he was never in it. I've well, the director's there on other things, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I've never, I've never seen this. Director out loud, is out there. You argue with the director. This, you know, I'm a director. You could argue. This with is me. kind of the one of the sure. old school, you know, superhero movies. Yeah, I, the first I, I've, I've only seen it movies, once. Yeah. I've only seen it once. I Yo, want to rewatch it. I've only seen it once in the theater when it first came out, but I still remember to this day. Is this a hilarious... good copy? What do you guys think? It had a great joke where he was afraid of heights, right? Oh, it has so a weird video He would video fly sticker. really low to the ground. That shit was hilarious. Look at that. Video cinema store doesn't exist anymore. There you it has go. has a phone number on it. Tampering with this label will result in charges for cassette. That's kind of cool. There's, there's, no, way, there's no way Jim All right. <laughs> just like the, the let me Let me remove this. Sure. Yeah. I'm going bid, to bid right now just in case there's something there that I don't want you to see. Yeah. Well, Max uh, does that. I would say this. I'm the dude. I'm just doing the minimum five dollars. Five. Yeah. Uh, so I'll do five and five cents. Or this five. This is really more. riveting. Seeing you bid on eBay for yeah. a VHS tape. Is this IRL? Yes, it is IRL. I could win. We could win on eBay easily. I don't. I order sometimes some it's stuff PGA on eBay. Doing. Oh look, here I'm proving it to you. Your your super chats help me get this. Yeah. I am the high bidder. Let's see if I win. That's Real shocking. High. I can't I believe there are multiple bids from around the world for this old copy of Meteor Man on VHS. It's it's the the you're gonna get, you're gonna get, you're gonna get out, it's Meteor, bid. Meteor, Meteor Man. Hey, hey, he was in the big hit. Yeah, he was. He I, was in the big I, hit. I almost yeah. forgot about this. I said, I said a notification. I was like, ah, because he, he it was buy it now for ten. I was like, I don't know if I want to buy it for ten because they do have to pay to ship it too. But for five dollars, you know. He was also kicked out of I'm dinner gonna... by a Nazi in American History X. Thank you, Louis Perp. Yes, CJ Elliot Gould and, and Avery Brooks Canadian, who is were Gould. both in two movies in 1998, and it was the same two movies: American History X well, and The Big Hit. Didn't he do like 70s point? Was he no? He was in Point Blank. What did he, he do? Was he, in the, did... he was in The Devil and Max Devlin with Bill Cosby. He was no, the star in the seventies. What was his? What was his like? You. I have to tell you, I have to break everybody's heart about Elliot Gould. I know somebody who worked with him on a project, and he's a real jerk. Punches down, <laughs> talks down to the, the people he feels are lower. Director, than I'm well, an that's actor. That's just because we're all. He's an actor. Oh. We're all here. Oh, yeah, five dollar night night. But you just did Elliot Gould as a national he's treasure, an though. That's that's out of respect for Joe, because I know how much he loves him. I don't, Joe, that's not Joe likes I mean, a lot of I'm, Joe likes a lot saying, of buttheads. I'm just saying today's kids love him. Like it's not about me; it's about the it's kids. Right, kid, he's see. very popular with the kids. Joe let supports uh, Elliot Gould and supports Joss Whedon. Uh, oh man, imagine if Joss oh, it's Whedon still got eight Elliot minutes. Gould I'm not waiting. I'm not making crap. Oh my minutes. god, say those Kevin. lines. Elliot. I'll, I'll give Kevin. you updates on it. I'm not waiting. Eight Brian minutes. Singer too. Brian Singer too, and Kevin Spacey, Peter Peter Five Eight, whatever. So CJH Entertainment. I didn't even know Elliot Gould was on Friends. This news oh, yeah, Monica's dad. That's right. He did good as Monica's dad in Friends. Uh, yeah, Ocean's 11 and 13. Thank you, Strange. Yes. American History X. 
American History X, MASH. MASH. Is he in American yeah. History X? Yeah, he gets kicked yeah. out by the Nazi Edward Norton. Oh, wow. Remember, Edward Norton's very upset that he's uh, doing stuff to his and mom. And then he does that that famous oh. line, see this, and he shows his tattoo. It means not welcome. He is one of the the inaugural wow. members of the Five Timers Club. On that was Saturday Voltaire's Night favorite Live. part. He clapped. Wow. <laughs> all, all of you viewers on <laughs> X, we got 48 oh, viewers sweet. on X. Is one of you my time to shine hello? Come on. Let us know my time. Come on, everyone on X, to, comment down time below. To chat, shine in the chat. You know, yeah, let us I know how much really you love like, Elliot Gould. I would really like some of you Xers to comment, please. Even if you're not going to come over to you. Just to come let to us you know do. you're alive and not they bots. comment because it's locked behind Premium Plus. No, come out of the shadows. There's not a single, single premium viewer. Oh, wait. Sorry. That's right. Well, most people on X who are watching are going to be watching on mobile. And the mobile version doesn't have a comment section. Yeah, so. Max. What do you think of this ahead of time? So until Twitter, until Elon updates the app to have that, it's not going to happen. It's not happening. I remember Elon say, oh, we're going to add um, this big feature that, that YouTubers could get pay on X. That, what a effing liar. Yeah, I made 20 bucks last month. Well, so. yeah, where are you? Yeah, that good. That good ass that good ass. You $20. get a word in. I would that, love to hear that. That $20 could give you. What are you talking you... about? I gave that RJ 20, a whole space to give me his take. Well, well, no, no, no. no. Yeah. I was trying to make a point about Deadpool. I didn't get to finish it. Oh, go ahead. And you Where? know what? Please get that fish. I'm going to remove you, Joe. That fish is disturbing me. I like it. It's kind of grown on me. Voltaire. Joe. That's yes. better. <laughs> Joe that's and Pearl put better. me into a private stream and showed me some horrendous <laughs> things. I'm, I'm scarred. Oh, they really? They react to it. I have the proof. I'll, re I'll release it later. Oh, it's that is the worst weird. effing foul ever. God damn. Fish heads. Goblins, clowns. It was all there. It was maniac. Clowny clown like, clown. Yeah. It was like the Joker's origin. Uh, I, I, I will read your, uh, all right. We'll read CGH's super chat and then we'll let RJ about Deadpool. <laughs> CGH Entertainment Plus. Per, Joe, you keep highlight. I'm trying to do control. This is Joe likes to press buttons. Well, I'm sorry. I thought we were doing an Elliot Gould stream. No. I'm, I'm trying future. to read it. What is that happening? Paying, I'm trying to read an actual paying customer. We all have to come as a character. And he highlights Elliot, Elliot Gould. This is Joe's mind. Could paying we have... customer. And he uh, he highlights a funny Elliot Gould. Could we online. invite Elliot Gould and have an Elliot Gould appreciation stream? <laughs> CGH appreciation Good luck. stream next. And I told CGH he has to he has to pick the next person. Well, look, nothing Got against CGH. Back. Nothing against CGH, but do we really appreciate him more than Elliot Gould? Yes. I mean, come on, <sighs> Elliot Fracken. For Gould. one, he's a paying customer. Elliot Gould is not. Okay, two stories. You don't know that. Two news stories. <laughs> Jeffrey Wright as the Watcher is. I love Jeffrey Wright. I don't it's think joining uh, Fantastic Four. I don't know about and the that. other is the canceled Nolan vs. Arkham style video game. Yes, I that was amazing. That. that was amazing. That looks really good. Thank you, CJH. I don't um, know about the Watcher thing. We'll but is see. it canceled? Oh, CJH, I might have I'm gonna try to make some time to do like a pre-record vid or something with you the next few days. We'll do a reaction. I, I don't know about the Jeffrey Wright thing. Let's that, get that's back the, in the content, you know. You um, should invite CJH to MME International. He is Canadian. Fine. He's busy. He is. He's always busy. He's never invited. He's enemy international. Yes, like, he that's is. A prime, that's a prime I... candidate for that stream. Okay. Yeah. Well, I I would be. You know, the Dolan verse video game looked pretty good. It did. It looked too much like Arkham, though. Yeah, Honestly, it did. I don't. Know, I don't know. If Arkham yeah. came out first. No, it came out in two thousand nine. The Arkham one. The first. Didn't Nolan one. get a video game in two thousand five with Batman Begins? Nah, that's not. It's, it's PS2. That's not. There, I actually want to there get was, that. Eventually. I have that game. It's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's not like Batmobile bad. in my house somewhere. Stuff too, right? Yeah. But, yeah, but that. And game they had is, the whole fear gauge. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it has, it's like it's connected to Batman Begins, but it's not really like. It's okay, like, I apologize, RJ. You had you said something about Deadpool. I'm sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. No, you're fine. No, just like my point was that I feel like Deadpool three is going to disappoint a lot of people. Not because I think it's going to be bad. Not because I think I think it's going to be a great movie, but I think people's expectations are so 
out like of they whack were with, with that uh, movie and what people are expecting from it. Uh, just like, just like Doctor Strange. What, why yeah, do you, yeah, I, I mean, if curious, why do you guys think it's going to be a great Doctor movie? Strange too, because people are expecting it to be like this giant cameo fest, and I don't mm. think that's the movie they're getting. Personally, that's the reason why the movie. There's getting. the reason why the movie is called Deadpool. But that's Wolverine. not the only reason I'm looking forward to it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the reason. No, why the movie I know. Even if we just got Hugh Jackman, I'd be so high. Like this movie has the expectation of it's going to save the MCU. Okay, that's crazy. I don't know why, like, I don't know how I, I everyone could say M- MCU needs help and then are just, like, skirting around Deadpool. Wouldn't Deadpool also be in trouble if it's the same MCU, right? Well, Deadpool's why ushering do... in the X-Men characters. Okay, so because of a plot line think, now, think we think it's capable? Because it's doing a certain plot well, line? The, we la- think it's the last, last heroes would be like popular Mer- characters, perfect. Yeah, the right. last, the okay, last but, but, No, phase that doesn't of, mean it's going to be a good movie. Aren't we not the last phase uh, okay. of Marvel did not, even though I enjoyed it a lot, the general audiences did not overwhelmingly support these movies. Now, I'm not talking about money. Those, I'm saying, have you been happy? Fish, fish I'm not talking about money. Like, it's the I'm not pandemic. talking about money. But they've also moved past some of these characters. Some of these characters aren't getting a third film. Like the Marvels doesn't seem like it. The uh, Even okay. though I love the Marvels, okay. I thought that under, was better than the first. Under... I'm I'm talking general public because I've liked the Marvel movies for the most part, right? Under the but under there's always been the perception that these new movies haven't been good, that the quote unquote writing hasn't been as good. These are the same people doing the Deadpool movie, and for some reason we're like when Marvel is still going down for that movie, that movie, oh that's that's gonna be a good one no matter what. Like I, I just want to know where that's coming from, how we're able to pick and choose which yeah, yeah. one is good or bad when the whole Go ahead, Voltaire. Okay. So it's a proven IP, right? Two good movies that people liked, right? Now under Disney. The people are worried about that. It's fair. Okay. Um, it's got two mega actors and great characters that people love, right? And it's 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 characters that normies know and love. Whereas that doesn't mean quality. Most people don't care about Miss Marvel. Sorry, they don't. That, yeah, but that doesn't mean quality. No, but they they have better hopes. It's just I have that. That's why I want to take money out of this. I'm saying overall, I was like, oh man, it's gonna be awesome. Like, but it's still Marvel, and it's like, and then and then those same people that say, oh, it's gonna be awesome. Oh, the, next movie, the next Marvel year. movie after that's gonna suck though. Like, what? it's gonna be a billion dollar uh, movie. No, they're ushering okay. in new characters. It's gonna, it's gonna, gonna be fresh. Money. Well, um, again, I think also to the perception of the brand is that it's 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 fallen substantially in terms of quality. Right, and this is lining up more with what people expect and want from their Marvel stuff. They want so more they, like yeah, yeah, yeah. of I have no problem. Like, the 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 saving MCU thing come from Twitter because Twitter is oh that I, that place is toxic every day. What are you talking? We have fifty three viewers there. Don't sorry, don't, sorry, I love it. That's, that's how it is. Is is the number? I mean, that's what people. They're all bots. Twitter though. They don't say. Sh- no, he, Elon got rid of him. bots. They, he is. He's he said he's going to. My, 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 yeah, you know how you get rid of them, creating more. I hate those bots. I swear to God, bro. Like, I like, I hate bots. Uh, Twitter, I'm pretty bots. sure bots are creating these scoops now. Oh my god, dang. it's AI generated scoops. Cool. It'll be, it'll be, cool. it'll just be crazy. My mind, Herb, you just blew my mind. That would be crazy if it did, but no, AI, no. Scoops. AI scoops is what people want to hear. It's like, what, what could create the most discourse? Max, yeah. let's have a segment called the AI Clone. No, oh my God, no one's the clone. Yeah, yeah. We're eight. We're purple. Consider and play AI scoops. Wait, 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 wait. We have something here. What? Breaking news. Sure. I know mm-hmm. everyone is very concerned. Oh my God, mm-hmm. Elliot Gould is in the chat. Elliot Cole, two dollars. You want the bid? Appreciated. What's up, Elliot? Bastard, Elliot. Yeah, Elliot, would you get on? Would you do an interview? I would love. To, you know, <laughs> I might get some of your back catalog of VHS, but I know everyone's very concerned. I actually won. You won? Oh the wow! That's a wow! I know that was a hotly contested item. So good for you. I hope you no, watch no. it soon. No, I'm gonna review it. it How I many am, people? Bro, I am on actually it? going to review. Nah, I love meter, man. I just wasn't sure. From what I remember. And I, I have to have. Well, you got Evo that one and two on VHS. Um, uh, I already have Army of Darkness on VHS. Uh, like, what about one and three? This Based. or should I do Evil Dead? Be someone said you should actually do Army of Darkness first. Actually, you well, got the most you fun. Clip out where you teach people how to snipe an eBay thing on a hot product like that. People would love that. 
Well, <laughs> we'll get you a million you views. Me, but... How you snipe? What you just snipe? He sniped at the last second. He got it. Look at him. No, if I was sniping no was that, I would have waited till the last few seconds. So you know, no one's bidding on it. Well, X rental. Hot. Let's look at let's look at this VHS goodness again. But you know what really sold me <laughs> on it? Let's look at this boy. Was this was this defunct video cinema sticker that's really in with a phone do you want number? To, do you want to video cinema before? No, I like I, it's, it. It makes it it makes it more, more special. You should go you get to the video cinema. There. Does that and include they, shipping that five dollars? No, no. Wow. How much is shipped from California? Four fifty. Four fifty. <laughs> you gonna pay I what? Like dog, man. You could have find this but in a drift not... for like two dollars. No, you don't find Meteor Man. <laughs> yes, you could. If I find Meteor Man in the wild, I will do a giveaway for Meteor Man. I'll buy that too. And I'm getting that away. Meteor Man. <laughs> Meteor Man. It's the Meteor. Meteor. Meteor, Meteor Man. man. <laughs> Elliot yeah. Gold, five dollars. Cosby wasn't. Oh a bad God, guy. no! Oh, this no. Is this is no, no, no! Listen, no, listen. Elliot is telling his truth. Bad. He's a paid Elliot, customer. No, that's Elliot Gould. Elliot He's using Gould. Elliot Gould's name. Not me. I'm just reading a super chat. This is not my. That's word. not Elliot Gould this saying that. This is Elliot Gould. This is Elliot Gould. No, $5. it's not. That's not Elliot Gould saying that. He's a paid customer. Max. Bad guy. By law, Max has to read it. One of my drinks, and frankly, I enjoyed it. Don't fucking. Sorry. Jeez, perp. What the language? He's slandering this guy's good name by saying this crap. What, by saying he enjoyed a night with Bill Cosby? You don't know that it's slander. No, do not clip that out. Elliot Gould is a paying customer. I have to read the super chat. Legally, as your attorney, Max, I'm making you feel like a whack pack. That's not my comments. That's Elliot Gould's. I'm like Eric the actor. I know who that is. I didn't appreciate reading that. Well, that's quite a reference, Perf. <laughs> I know. Okay. That's how I feel. I'm like, that's not Elliot. But he's that's like, not saying? Elliot Gould. That's not no, Elliot Gould. I know who that is. Guy. You I, can't trick now, me. Cosby's a very bad guy. Well, you don't know that. He was found. All right, whatever. Yeah, because why? I heard he hung Let, me. I let's think, not go. With come on, lawyer. Tell us why he, he got did. out. He says he taught him everything he knows. He had bad attorneys. I got to tell you. Bad boys records. I also would like to see Bad Boys on VHS as well. Well, get it. You could. Yeah, it's no I would love to. I'd love to find Bad that. Boys so, so go on eBay. Go on eBay. No go, right now, pull up eBay and pull, 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 pull. that opening scene in Bad Boys holds up so well. It's so funny. Well, Come now on, that really? Vol, well, now that Voltaire is here, right? let's revisit this because I I finally uh, I found this Voltaire, and I want your expert opinion. Um, what he really means. <laughs> Look at the hell second. priest. Yo, we got Pinhead in here. My gosh. Welcome. He has such Welcome. sights to show us. Yo, Pinhead, I heard we I heard we you get any sequel. You're getting that sequel. Movie. Congrats. Hey, hey, hey. I, love that. I love that remake. He's here for Cosby. That's what the, the Oh my you know, god. Pinhead, 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 did someone say Cosby? I've been looking for him. <laughs> he has such <laughs> wonderful <laughs> sights to show. Him. What kind of centibite would Cosby be? Just like liquid. He's just like always like liquid. Did he said Cos <laughs> Cosby was a good mentor for him, you know? Okay, let's. I, that's, ooh, I want to move past that. Uh, here, I want Voltaire's expert opinion. What does James Gunn really mean? James, now Vol, people think Voltaire just echoes my. We we disagree. We disagree, especially on Florence Pugh. You really pissed me off the other day, Voltaire. Is that right? Yeah. Why? She is Florence Pugh is beautiful in every hairstyle. Oh my! No, God. I like her except for that short hair. I think she was terrific in. Uh... Darling, Wah. it's okay or okay. Wah, short hair. Wah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I don't care. For but I, I, I wanted to get your expert interpretation of uh, James Gunn. The rumors that uh, there is a version of Superman Lex created is called like Ultraman. He's like a bizarro Superman, like oh, the evil why? Of Superman. But I wanted to hear what I want to hear what Voltaire thinks of this. What what he thinks is, of what this, James? This Gunn is a thinks. first impression for me. I've I've not. Go ahead and read it out for the people. Okay. Uh, well, how would you you do such great impressions? Can okay, you do a I will. Gun impression. The primary protagonist of Superman <laughs> is shockingly Superman. <laughs> the main villain of Superman is shockingly Lex Luthor. <laughs> I don't know where all the stuff is coming from, but that hey, everyone from that it's something other than this. There are so many stories come out coming out every day. Why are you it's reading with a nasally voice? Deal with everything. He sounds everything. like. 
That's a perfect expression. It literally sounds right, like so none people yeah, I'm giving it attention. So I'll say it again. I don't <laughs> believe anything unless you see it here. And why would I want to know everything before the movie comes out anyway? Heart. I don't think. Uh, he I hate really everything know. about that. Why? That was great. I absolutely disavow. No, no, may, God have he... uh, no. may God have mercy on your soul. Joe left. Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. <laughs> Shock Listen, Joe, 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 I don't know. I, don't... Listen, I love James my, Scott. My acting skills and my improv skills are top You're, You do some amazing improv, yeah, and, uh, and impressions, yes. Uh, Joe is not happy about that. Okay. Well, do you think he, he, he is debunking the evil Superman altogether? Or is he saying the main vain villain in your in your expert uh, opinion? And then so we'll move is, on. So I have been critical of objection some, leading the witness. Some of James Gunn's tweets, but this is a good tweet. This is this is a good fan engagement tweet. Like I don't think tweet. So. I disagree. It's a phenomenal tweet, Max, and you're so jealous. No, I think wish, Max tweet. wishes he could have made this tweet. Yeah. I don't care. Oh yeah, you don't care? No. I mean, it gives me something to talk about. I would have way less to talk about if James Gunn just made movies and and directed and, you know. Kelly, get over here, please. All right. So, that's all Grace Randolph. They says he sound like What is this? Is this you're going to show me something disturbing again, perp? It wasn't my Grace Randolph strange Marvel theories. <laughs> Oh, see, RJ, oh, what did you? It's think? on eBay. You were eBay shopping. I found this movie, and we were talking about Cosby. We want to bring it up real quick. I don't know if I. Well, hang on, Max. What's your problem with that? Twist? No, it's what is that? It's called. It's called. It's a movie called The Spike Drink Game. Oh my! Good golly, perk. It's like the most problematic movie title I've ever heard in my life. So the the, the <laughs> idea you had, perp, is let's show this image on a stream. We were talking about Thank the you. Cosby stuff. With Hell Priestess. I don't want to talk about that stuff. Oh, don't bring it up then. Oh, well. I think Voltaire was trying to ask you a question, Max. Yeah, what is your problem with that tweet? I, I'm curious about what your issue is with that. I, I think he, well, I don't think he's, I, I think he's stretching the, or he's framing it to make the people that are reporting on the rumors act like they're insane, which there's probably some credibility to it. Most likely, it still might not happen. There still might not be the Ultraman version of Superman in the movie. But I think if there was, if it was really that silly, he would basically say, oh, this weird version of Superman in my Superman legacy movie? No. Yeah, he would have said that. Yeah. That's how Max thinks. James right. would have said this if it was that. He has no problem mocking Max. rumors. He has no problem mocking rumors. That's a fact. I like that. Dude, that's that's really so, that right no, Voltaire, that's such a specific ask for something to be debunked. Like that's so spit. Like he would, he would have no, been like this. Say, Don't you think picked, Voltaire? That's a little ridiculous. The quote from the one scooper that in order said for it to be the bunk, he the needs to have villain. a certain tone. And you know, RJ knows. RJ, on. this is becoming yeah, up RJ a knows. lot. Did he's RPK was one of the only ones to say he was the main villain, right? And that. Was um, what so what happened was, from what I remember, can we? RPK was teasing this by. Posting images and stuff of Quest for Peace because that movie also has an evil Superman clone, and then and then can we get uh, toast posted about it first on Instagram? Then RPK confirmed it. Mm -hmm. RPK confirmed it. Yeah, Daniel. So and then, right. Max, well, let's, you never let's, addressed this part. Let's, he, you said that that was the biggest source to uh, say that rumor, correct? And, and James Gunn was addressing the biggest source, and you use that as a well. Why would he use he used that source specifically so he could word it a certain way? Yeah, because that's the one. No, because that's that the biggest the source. Villain. So he addressed the biggest so source. Some, he picks the something most legitimate he could, source. He picks something he could. Uh, that's no, your he opinion. picked the biggest source no, of that rumor. I, that's your opinion. I. Yeah, that's my what opinion. you said the night prior. My, my opinion. You said that's what is, gave it legitimacy. My you opinion. said that you and Taladia. Thank you, you for me coming, Claudia. My Time opinion ahead. is he picked the scooper where he had he he did something he could debunk. No, he the, the biggest the villain. That's what he actually wait, wait, wait. I want, that the I, I want to say something. It. I want yeah. to say something. Jared also agrees with you. Just to let you know. Oh my god. Me? 
he agrees with you. We'll yes. get him on here. He's he's busy. We're oh. just on the stream talking about it. Oh, okay. And like well, you're here. I'm here. Yeah, we talked about it. He's you know he also agrees. He nitpicked on a certain aspect of the scoop. He didn't pick specifically. He, he uh, likes to pick. He likes to pick the quote to do. Hey, Voltaire, he, it's you. It's you, Voltaire. Or mock the person. It's Which, Voltaire. Well, that's his personality. There's Voltaire on stream, guys. That's not Voltaire. It's RJ. No, Voltaire is uh, that's Voltaire Snorlax. 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 Oh my God. Oh, I see. Okay, that's very clever. I earned that. <laughs> I earned that. <laughs> I don't know what because he was leaving. Hold you know, on. Like, I but you really guys, know. you guys were saying, look, the reason why this story clone thing came up in yesterday's show is because Teladia brought it up because RPK yeah. is talking about it, and that gave the source legitimacy. So James okay, Gunn, think you, and, and so it makes sense that, that might, James that Gunn would I, give I, would I, attack I, the source well, uh, that's well, giving again, spreading just the to clarify, Just to clarify again, it's. A ton of people are coming out saying this is the the case. Like, can we get toast? My time to shine, and then yeah, the, all the scoopers. Okay. All Basically, the scoopers, all of them yeah. are coming out saying this is what we're hearing. Like, this and, is- and my time to shine. Hello, if I could find the, can someone find the the tweet for me? She basically says, "Well, who knows if it's a she? I don't know." My um, my DMs my my whole no, it's a woman. I'm like, okay, my whole well, timeline is full well, of. Well, my time to lesson. shine. Hello, says I actually was. Or they're claiming. They have visual proof that Ultraman is in it. So why is he doing this? It's Superman <laughs> for a quest for Pete's all over again. So is that a bad thing though? Yeah. I still think it's going to be an amazing movie. Why is that I bad? Just would, oh my god! I just See, this is what I mean by this Brainiac gets harmful. Or... Look, wait, you were this, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you the reason why. Superman for a quest for Pete's wasn't a great film. They no. should have done. I liked it. So shouldn't you remake films that are bad rather than remaking? No, uh, why? No, why? why? Like I'm, I understand. I I know what you're, what you're trying to pull. What uh, am I trying I know, to pull? Batgirl. Everyone always. Co- I Batgirl wasn't even in the conversation. Uh, people always complain that why are you remaking classic films and you should re- be remaking bad films. So that's what well, maybe if that's what James Quest Gunn's doing. Why is that bad? Well, Quest for Peace. Shouldn't we be remaking bad films, bad not good se. films? Quest for Peace, like, had some interesting ideas. Like, they just weren't executed. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, remake it was bad poorly ex- it, 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 I'm just, like, thinking, why are you doing a remake or a You don't know what it is. Of... This is what I'm saying with the speculation stuff. You don't know what it is. Right. Uh, you don't know uh, either. Uh, you don't know either, but no, what I'm saying... Is, but I'm not the one comparing it to another movie already. Well, I, the reason why I'm comparing it to the Quest for Peace because <laughs> in the Quest for Peace there was a Superman clone, and they dun, dun, dun. at first at first it was Bizarro. They changed it to a uh, Nuclear Man. Okay, so isn't there clones in the in the comics? Yes, but it's called Bizarro for Superman. Okay, so there's there, there's never been a Bizarro called Ultraman. The only time there was a co- clone. That was similar to Bizarro. It was called Superior Man, which was well, in my, my Red Sun Superman. Oh my God. Well, my theory is that it's going to start off as Ultraman, but by the end of the film, he's going to turn into Bizarro. That's my theory, at least. Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm just uh, fatigued with not seeing villains and seeing like the, the like we got we, the Flash, we got the Evil Flash, you know, things yeah. like that. I just, I would prefer they do like. Brainiac I don't know. I, I wouldn't call that. I, I wouldn't Mark call him Clyde or something that, like that. Was, then, you know, I mean, wouldn't you prefer a good story over everything? <laughs> I did not. CJ, five dollars. Have to read it, Max. Legally. When... Oh my god. CJ just got it wrong. Thank you for the super chat. Remember when Max interviewed a bunch of people about movies, and then said he had interviewed people in the movie theater bathroom. I did not interview people in the movie theater bathroom. I didn't even talk to them in the bathroom. I think I was going to the bathroom. He's, pu- he's pulling your leg. And some teenagers, some junior high school. I don't remember what they asked. Someone clipped. They asked, yeah, about, some of that candy. they asked about. 
They asked about the movie. What movie was I seeing at the time? Let's let's just not go. They into snuck talking. into the let's theater. You know, no. Max, did you have that bag of a dollar store candy? <laughs> no, I was giving candy outside the theater, not in the okay, theater, so not okay. in the restroom. <laughs> that sounds okay. For people, <laughs> stop, for people stop. to give the reactions, and no one wanted to give the reactions. Just stop. That, that was, that's, I, okay. I remember, and you said that was terrible. Just stop. But back to Superman. And you know, here's my I didn't take. do anything wrong. No, but, here, anything. but back to Superman, though. I think RJ, you might be right, but I think we've done the bizarro thing on television anyway. They've done it like they put turned Superman, the bizarro Superman, into Doomsday. So yeah, like, I mean, I get that, but like, we've never seen bizarro in a movie before, right? Yeah. So, at least we haven't seen it something new, you know. Because yeah, if, if, I mean, if we compare it to the TV shows, most of the TV shows have done all the villains, you know? Be- um, besides, there's one villain that they haven't done on in, in small screen or big screen. Well, they have done it in a TV show, which was Brainiac, but that was prequel. That wasn't actually a Superman thing. Um, but if they do that on the big screen, it would have made more sense to have Brainiac. But- you I still, I still movie. think they should do like Mongol. I, I think Mongol would be cool. Everyone's setting Mongol, their expectations Brainiac. way too. You want to, yeah. you want to change it to something even cooler than all this? This is actual. This is actual. Livewire. This is not. Livewire is not amazing. This is from yeah. Superman Legacy. Dude, Lex Luthor would be amazing. Lots of people it. missed this. I don't mind Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor is always. Lex, 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 Lex Luthor to me. It's, an, it's an another reveal that James Gunn planned. This is one he planned. Okay. Are you ready? So this is going to turn to a terrible joke. Lex Luthor no, is awesome. Joke. We get a, a we get a cape reveal. Is Perry White in this? Oh, you're talking about that character. Oh, you're talking about oh. people didn't realize that you're looking at the dog. Rachel Brosnan, look behind. Is that a dress? Like a dress. I don't. Mm. That is that a dress or a cape? I, I, to me, I it looks like a, a dress. I think it's I think a, it's like a, dress. a dress. I think it's no. a dress. I think it's a dress. I think it's a dress. What makes you guys think it's a dress? It's just mm, <laughs> it's like how dress. long are those legs? Like how that's long is that dress? Yeah, they have. I long think, dress. think hey, that's a dress. That, look, that real. Come on. That Dude, look at look at the top image. How long Listen, are her legs? That was a dress. That you know. How long are her legs? I think. I, I, I do not want to get people. I have no here. idea how long know. Rachel bras the hands legs. I mean, are. if it's a cape, if it's a cape. All, Honestly, that's a that's a basic dress for an amazing uh, Lois. That's what I'm saying. That's not. That's not a, I don't see a dress looking in like the, this. In that color, like that. looks very capish. If it's a cape, Max. If it's a cape, then I like it. I like the fact that it's a long yeah. cape. If it's a dress, then well, I like. I don't see a dress. I like the color. I, I like the color. Right? What? Twist I'm not saying it's a cape either. Mark. I'm just saying oh, that I mean, doesn't listen, seem like if, a dress. If, if it's a dress, then then is Lois Lane going to a party? That, that if, seems yeah. like in like that's a very ugly dress then. That's no, like it's a not. very yeah, heavy, heavy, these types of stuff in the comments. For a, 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 you know, a, it's a, a cape. spry yeah. uh, Lois Lane reporter that's going out on the town. You what know, if she's it's gonna a look her best. She's going to look at maybe her best she's going in a curtain. Maybe maybe that's a big if dress. If a dress, maybe that's she's a in a curtain uh, in a. And uh, maybe in a party. That is or a that's party. a weird dress. If that's a dress, Max. Why if it's a why if it's a uh, like a curtain or something for for a one of the yeah for this crypto. Pilates, you had to throw that in here. It's a it's wait, a wait, cape wait, or a wait, 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 wait. It just happens know. to be on the set of what Superman it? Legacy behind Rachel Bros the hands. Oh, uh, oh, 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 the hands oh, chair oh, in. Oh, oh. In mm. Superman's less than heroic dog. Oh, 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 David, although David has a better dog than you. What if it's a cape and it's not Superman's cape? You're not a red cape. It's Superman. Uh, are you going to conspiracy? Maybe it's maybe it's Ultraman's cape. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's what I'm saying. What if it's not Superman's cape? They're throwing you off. It's Ultraman's cape. Yeah. Actually, let's put. I a can't poll. wait to see how still is it a, James Gunn pulls this off. Let's oh let's see God. what the audience thinks. A clone is it a CGI cape a... anyway. Oh uh, no, not for cape? like talking. Um, scenes. Sometimes it can be CGI, but sometimes they'll do a physical cape. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah, like Zach did, like and behind the scenes for was um, um, Ultraman practical confirmed. cape, and then sometimes Maybe. when he flies a CG, yeah, <laughs> or curtain. So, so curtain. I was gonna say, everyone that is on X right now, we've got seventy-eight viewers. Come over to the YouTube side. 
you know, comments, you know, interact with us on the YouTube. Uh, it's, it's, it's X, X, those decks are, those views are long. Leave them alone. They're bots. No, they're oh not. My God. Quit insulting our new audience. <laughs> That's well, crazy. It, they're not saying I, anything. I think they're bots. I'm sorry. I, they're not. I wish they would say something, but, you know, RJ I would, has Elon, I would, Elon will theory. fix the damn app, All right, but he well, doesn't. But let's, let's end this clip. Let's end this clip out. I think it's a dress. I mean, I yeah. think it's a cape. I don't think it's a dress. I don't think <laughs> it's, it's a dress. I don't think. I don't think. I don't Clip think it's that. Ultraman's cape. I think it's Superman's cape. So, Lottie, Everyone, go ahead. I think it's. It, it could be a curtain. Oh God! <laughs> a it's curtain. a rug. It could be a they, rug. Why would they put a red curtain behind Rachel Brosnahan's chair in? In to hide Superman's dog. cape. It's, it's a curtain very, hiding the cape. It's, it's a very the underwhelming dog. It's a cute dog. I'm, I'm going it's with the theory. It's a Superman's curtain hiding dog. the cape. Hey, don't insult that dog. That's crypto. It's a it's a cute dude. Dog. That's a cool yeah, crypto. A, a, that dog is better than yours. No, that's it, a crypto take. It makes me question. I have a theory. What if it's hiding the Superman costume? Oh Just my lord. To... Voltaire, of course you're going to say this it's a case. Is, this that wasn't me. That was somebody on X. This is James Gunn's next level marketing. Now, this is something he does good. He's going to be using this dog for all the marketing. It's going to be this dog's going to pop up everywhere. And behind the dog is going to be clues. That's what James Gunn I know doing. it's funny. We've although they, 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 although they're they hiding a turkey. Joke. Although they, well, although they do have a joke dog. on set between the dogs. Here. More of this dog than we've actually seen Superman on set. I they have not great. seen David Cords put on set yet. No, they. Uh, uh, this, that's what I like about David. Like, Dude, he's that's because you don't know, understand James Gunn's genius. He's gonna CGI. Like James David, uh, that's one thing I like. David, he's not on social media. He's very he's focused. He's gonna CGI on his him job and stuff like that. I mean, that's... David Cornstein is acting as a professional right now. So yeah, like he's very Long focused on his shirt. movie. Like I like yes. that. You know, I, I'm not character. gonna tell all you Xers out there that there's 83 of you. You love the show. You love the show. I'm not going to tell you you have to go to YouTube, but I do have a poll on YouTube to answer this very question: is if it, is it a is it a cape? Is it a dress? Is it a curtain? Or is it Ultraman confirmed? You know. <laughs> okay. We got 99, 99 viewers tonight. Wow, and only 16 on YouTube. Uh, what's going no, on? You know, you Xers, I do have to pay the bills though. It would be really nice. <laughs> be really nice if you made it. You know. Popped in a little bit and gave us a little ad revenue or something. It would be nice, but uh, all right, enough begging. They're gonna leave if I keep begging. Um, kilt because the surname Gun is Scottish. That's a great point. I think okay, well, he is speculation. Maybe. maybe let's I think, see. I don't remember. Sure. Maybe his family. All right, who who I voted? Think. Did Perp? Did you vote? What is it? I don't care. Yes, you do. You no, have. I to, don't. This, you have to play the game. It's a dog. It's a curtain. <laughs> What's behind the dog, Raptor? Perp, you've been on movie sets. Come on. Yeah, I think, man, I think that's, I think that's Superman's cape. Honestly, yeah. right. is it, is it for everybody? I, I, if, uh, I'm gonna go with a. If I had to go guess, with, I'm gonna go with a dress. But if it's a cape, I'll be, I'll be surprised. Okay. Uh, RJ, what is it? Is it I a think dress? It's a cape. Is it a curtain? I think it's the cape. Voltaire. It's a cape. Why would he do anything else? Yeah. And did you notice this before? I didn't notice this before someone pointed It's also out. like perfectly missing the S logo that's rumored to be yeah. in there, right? Like it's yeah. like the mm -hmm. perfect cutoff. Like I, I think you know? I think if if it's, if if I if and I think James Gunn would do this cape, type of thing. I, I will like I don't if it has the S, that would be a nice touch up. I like that. Well you have to remember that post was not from James Gunn. That post was from Rachel Brosnan. Yeah, it was from Rachel. You yeah, don't she think James Instagram, Gunn yeah. looks at this stuff and says, Oh, it'd be fun if we did a little Easter. No, egg no, in there. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying yeah. that, you know, she's playing the, the social media game a little bit too. That's all. What's her how's her, her is she like the most well? I guess who has how the do most I get monetization on X? Um, I don't know. Who 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 is the most popular? I yeah. Well, Nicholas Holt is the most caring one, and, and her, and I guess, um, I forgot the guy name. She's a TV star, correct? Yeah, yeah but she's a more award-winning, and she's, like, loved by the... Yeah, no, yeah, some of those, what I'm, I'm, not, I'm saying some of those TV stars do have, like, a huge, like, account. Like, All right, so Twitter, what if I what if I do premium like, Twitter, or premium X? Do I have to do, I'm an individual, or I'm an organization? I'm a little people. I don't think, I don't, I think individual... And then, then I'll be eligible for revenue too. Uh you have to check. You have to get a certain amount of impressions per month. Yeah, yeah. you have to. You yeah, gotta make a good yeah, impression. Yeah, yeah. There's no way you will get. Do your Jim Carrey impression. That's great. 
Max is all about the money. Yeah, yeah, sixteen dollars a month. You just got Meteor Man, man. You can't afford this. Just like Ted. I know. I can't. I got a VHS tapes. Grok early access ads in for you. None. Reply boost. That's. Ex- I don't think. No, I'm you got to. Yeah, uh, yeah no, don't do that. I they, doubt yeah, that do. I would make enough money to just. Uh, yeah, what, once Elon figure out. Uh, no, if they YouTubers, do super chats and stuff, yeah. Yeah, once Elon figure out how to add the YouTube stuff in and how. To I think YouTube I think the money, YouTubers you know. that we're watching, viewers are actually going to X now. Cheeseman, are you watching on X instead of the YouTube? Oh. <laughs> Max, do your Jar Jar impression. Oh my gosh. Misa would like you to visit Misa YouTube channel, please. Oh <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> Timmy, <laughs> Himmy, ha. Oh, yeah, Himmy, is, Himmy, yeah, ha. Oh, Lord. Just tweet. I can't tweet more often. I got a day job. Himmy, Himmy, ha. Sorry, what do you Xers, think other people I do apologize. That's why you no, the people that phone. enjoy X and have fun on there, I, I'll more power to you. Bro, the he people doesn't have large like, right, you get he doesn't people have, have large been, followings have to tweet like every minute. RJ, we've been here for the past two years. He never has... X on his phone for whatever if reason. If he did, he'd be able to tweet more and make money. I don't want X on my phone. I appreciate X. <laughs> X gonna give it to you. Look at how many viewers you have on X. I know. But I'm not getting paid for it at all. Yeah, you gotta give back. You don't a have bit. X on your phone, like no. Of, of I all, don't have X on my phone. I time, people. Of all the know, things you waste time with when you're like standing around. Have lots of conspiracy phone. theories about me in the past. They thought I was like um, chronically online. I'm not. You know, sometimes when I can, when I'm busy painting and stuff, when I come home, I miss the news. Like I'm, that's when I do a lot of retweets on Twitter or X. That's where I'm getting the news. I'm like, oh, this happened. Though. Okay, who's gonna give it to you? Yeah. So X does give it to you, me the news. Um, give it to you, hey, hey. Okay. Well, let's hey, let's see what uh, other stories we have. Please. Hey, can we do a segment on this show? For what? What? WrestleMania predictions? No, 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 yes, no! Yes, come on, movie madness, yes. man. Uh, yes, well, yes, yes. Super, that way we can movie clip it out here. Let's, 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 let's do something. Through. Let's do something to make Perp happy first, and then we'll do that. That's just, keep, okay. keep keep that Thank ready, you. RJ. Yeah. Because I'm actually really getting hyped. The, the images I see from this horror movie, ooh, are really getting me excited. Where I'm, I think I actually want to see it. Hell yeah! Even though I'm not very happy about rumors about. The actress, I mean, you know, she was involved in some controversy about like a, I, uh, like oh, a, Mia Goth, uh, Mia Goth, yeah. Max Dean. We're talking yeah, about Max I, Dean. I, I think, but I, the I, images that I'm seeing, like the screenshots, look amazing. And her and what's the uh, singer that's in it? Um, uh, isn't it Paramore? Usher? No, no, it's um, I think it's I Paramore. Forget. I think it's Haley. Cisco? No, Paramore. That's not Param. That's not Paramore. That's um, I forget. Katy Perry. No, no, that's just that's 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 Avril Lavigne. No, that's not. That's um. I'm telling you, that's Pink. Lavigne. No, uh, I forget this act. Uh, this singer's name. That's Halsey. 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 That's, Halsey. 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 that's Paramore. Halsey. That's who it is. Oh, uh, Hal- someone just said. Mm-hmm. No, no one said that. I said, I said, Haley Williams, Paramore. That's dropping on that's, Monday, that's guys. That's not Paramore. That's Halsey. That's why I just said Halsey. You don't know that. I'm not saying she's guilty. I just said Halsey. Well, the the images look really amazing here. I don't know. I'm I'm interested. No, I'm very excited for this. I mean, it's got Kevin Bacon's in it. So, you know, it's going to be good. Yeah, he's the main (laughs) villain, I believe. So, it's saying that the trailer is going to release on Monday. Are you going to do a reaction, Perp? Oh, yeah. When this comes out, I'm on it. That day, I've been doing a lot of reactions when the when these uh, a lot of great trailers have come out. It probably com- it's probably coming out on the, uh, like maybe nine to. 10. Cuckoo is a fantastic horror trailer that I've absolutely loved and adored. Oh well, the one with the um, let me yeah. let me uh, let me yep. let me read the synopsis. Here. Oh look, they're promoting WrestleMania right there. The third movie. Play that clip. What is that clip? The third movie. I'm not playing the clip. Yeah, it's after Pearl. Oh, it's a gif. It's a gif. It's a gif, it's a gif bro. Yeah, you can do that, right? A, yeah, you, yeah play, click it. You can do that, right? What is this? Yeah, so she's that's just walking down an alley, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's walking down the alley, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what does it mean it's the third movie? Is it like a series of movies? Yes. Yes. One, okay. two, and three. So I have to I, see the other ones first? 
Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's the final it, film. Of the it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it is the final one. Yeah, it, you, okay. it'll be easy to catch up. Yeah. Well, I, I might ask my wife to watch the first one or two. I think, I think. What I start with? What is the first one? Are on a Paramount. Max, Club. you're not gonna watch Monkey Man. I do want to watch Monkey Man. Oh, I fight my wife might want to go to the movies with me and probably just want to see King Kong if we go to a movie. It's a together. pretty weird movie. I'm, I hope you get into it. I, I loved it. What? Mon- no, Monkey Man, I will see it alone. My wife's not going to want to yeah, see it. Yeah, it's a little artsy. Yeah. yeah. How is it artsy? Uh, I thought it was an action movie. So not sun- until the very Sunday, end, bro. <laughs> Sunday, we there's might a get a setup. There's like a 45 minute setup to that thing. <laughs> okay, so, well, the third movie picks up with Mia- Maxine Mia Goth as she continues her journey towards fame, sending out to make it as an actress in the 1980s Los Angeles. In addition to Goth, Maxine boasts a cast which includes Elizabeth Debicki, Michelle Monaghan, Bobby Cannaval. Cannibal, Lily Collins, Halsey, Moses Sumney, Giancarlo Esposito. I did and not Kevin know. Bacon. I did not know Carlos was here. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the, the, there have been rumblings that the sequel was a good old whodunit slasher. Mm. But Goth has teased that she've used Maxine more as who a superhero. Slasher? Movie. That's called a Jalo. It's a superhero movie, she says. That's how I read the script. What? Goth said Maxine is a character has come a long way. She's a survivor. She's gone through it. When we meet her again in this new world that she's in, she's really fought for everything she has. She's not about to give that up. She's going to fight for what she has. She's a badass. There's a strength there, and she's really provocative, proactive, sorry, determined, focused woman. She goes (laughs) slip. She goes after what she wants. She's not really going to take no for answer. I hope there's some like Miss 45 references on this one, man. I wouldn't be. I don't. I mean, I would not be. I mean, Ty West. I would not be if Ty do that. Ty West. Yeah. No, I liked X a lot. Pearl. I was whatever about. It was fine, but I really dug X. I think X was pretty cool. What they were trying to do, and this one, I'm super hyped because I love the idea of the Jalo and the revenge. And what she's speaking of here is like it seems like one of those uh, revenge. What what do I see first if I want to? If I don't watch the movies before this, probably X is probably the best. X and then Pearl. X has yes. uh, Jenna Ortega in her panties too. Okay. X, <laughs> X, well, X I, 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 I believe this is. I believe that. this is a survivor from X. I believe this is a survivor. I mean, from I wouldn't X, fast so forward. And I would probably I within would the continuity. But Max, who are you, Josh? And like, you're not going to watch these. Yes, I do. Before. This is the type of thing. You yes, know, this type of horror I could probably handle. You could handle. You could handle. You could handle Yeah, you could handle Max. Yeah. You could handle Max. yeah. So we which don't would you rather watch? We right don't need, We haven't even seen the trailer, people. Oh my god! How do well, you know this? Almost a murder mystery. I've seen no, I'm I'm talking, I'm he also other. referenced the Jalo, which two. are some I'm really hardcore first, movies. I, the first I, two Maxine movies. I, I, those, yeah. I also didn't realize it's also intriguing that they all link together. I didn't know that before, and yeah. I like connected universes and stuff and continuations of stories. So that's more intriguing to me. You know. So. Shut up, cheese. Watch the first two. I think it's on Prime. What an ex cheese man. No, we need more on on tube. We only have eleven on. We got ninety nine on X and eleven on tube. That's insane. Thoughts Max, would you rather watch Maxine or or WrestleMania? WrestleMania. Go watch WrestleMania. Peacock. Okay. Okay. So RJ, you wanted to. Um, yeah, I, I put it in the private chat. It's like a website. You just scroll down, and work your way through it. <laughs> okay. Rest, uh, uh, I, I got, Herb, I are you watching WrestleMania? These are mathematically. Max, we're Actually. doing a watch. Max, we're doing a watch party for that anyway. You didn't set it up yet. Yeah, you don't I have did. Peacock. I did. We did set it up. It's already did been you set get up. Peacock. And... Oh, this. I have Peacock. Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, so somebody's already set it up. I I took a look at the MME thing, and somebody's already put watch along for night one on Saturday. Okay. Cool. And that's got to be Brian, right? <laughs> No, Brian doesn't. Brian's in the busy. I don't know what he. He's, he's not, busy. He he's probably, gonna. I think he's gonna probably, probably be doing well. All right. Uh, I. You know what? They should come up with a, a wrestling league that's extremely horror focused. Characters. You know, a horror. Uh, actually, a horror nice wrestling try, movie. Nice. What was the, what was that guy? Who, nice try. What? You know what I really? I. I oh, said, no, never mind. That's messed up. I ain't gonna say. It. I say I really appreciate wrestling. I'm more of a supplemental wrestle fan like i like the video games i like movies and stories and documentaries about wrestling mm-hmm. i appreciate the the you know all the the art the, of it the art of it yes sure uh but the actual events i don't get into too much i love the smack talking that that part like sh- cutting promos i love sure. that stuff well, so this is wrestlemania but, uh, do they do that in wrestlemania 
yeah. The, the, the WrestleMania, they, they cut promos and old cuts. So Today's I'm actually rooting for The Rock, whatever. I don't. I I actually do, I would love the Cody Cry Babies to cry more. Oh, that would be really crazy business. Wait, what did you say, RJ? It's not going to be a good thing for business. Like that would be so no, good. Yes, they're already, be. No, they're already. Even you, triple. Do you not know even triple hashtag a, RJ wrong. Even triple do you know, H. Do you not today. know YouTube and triple, X? No, Max, social triple media, H, RJ. Triple, RJ the Max, people that tri- complain are the biggest watchers. No, Max. Triple H literally. I can't it. believe they're really messing up Cody's story again. RJ, you, you, RJ, you saw the Triple H interview when he. When, I, you know, if I was it? in charge, this is what I would do. If I was The Rock, I wouldn't give Cody the completion of his story to WrestleMania next 40. <laughs> he ran oh, over well, no, no, no. So oh, we'll God, go to, that's we'll funny. Go the predictions, but, but, like, so scroll down. It goes to the, like, skip that part. It goes through. Yeah, I would do that. Order. That's, come on, viewer retention and haters. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, wait, I, got, wait, I, got, I got, I got, I got, I got Jay winning Oh, quick that. hits. Roman, okay, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. I got, I think Cody. I would say that. Roman. I think Cody. No, it's going to be Cody. I think Co- it's it's going to be, be Cody. Cody. It's going to be Cody number night one. Wayne yeah, The gonna... Rock Johnson, Roman Reigns versus yeah, Cody it's Rhodes. It's going to be Roman Seth. Reigns. Oh, my God. That's so, night two, gonna, right? So, so my that's prediction, my bold prediction Reigns. is I think The Rock and Roman Reigns win on night one. And then yeah. night two will be under bloodline rules. And that's yes. going to set up mm. Cody no, Rhodes mean. assembling the Dude, Avengers that means everything. to finally defeat The Rock and Roman Reigns. And you know who's going to come back? Stone Cold. You're going to see John Stone Cena. Cold. You're going to see crazy stuff. Diamond Dallas Page. <laughs> although, although probably John Cena will not do that much because he got peacemakers. Oh, strange Marvel theories. <laughs> Max, I just quit you. That's the line. Don't Damn. Strange, don't leave. Damn. Listen, I want to okay, let, let me you. clarify. Okay, because I have. I wish a, I could quit. I have you. a longtime supporter that wants wants to leave because he's a Cody crybaby. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just doing a promo there too, Strange. No, because I think he, I think Cody's story, completing his story in WrestleMania 41, would be even more sweeter after that whole build up. It would be even more epic. I would wait yeah. until next year. This so is the, this the, is just, I mean, the Rock. I mean, the Rock is definitely going to happen. I mean, the Rock cannot do for um, WrestleMania next year because he's Voltaire's the movie. Voltaire's yeah. favorite yeah. wrestler is Eric Voltaire's Kershaw. lost. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, Max. I wrestling Max, for years, so I don't Max, know anything Max, about Max, it. Yo, you, you love Eric Bischoff. Max, I like the uh, Heart down, Foundation Max. and the British Bulldogs, all that kind I'll of. I'll tell you what, I read Stacy Stacey Keebler on Twitter today. She did her classic entrance. Whew. Wow. Max, if you scroll Finish. down, there's pictures for visual aid to help oh. out. Yeah, if you oh, scroll okay. down, Max, Roman Reigns is going to take it for oh, Okay. I am voting. I am rooting. And for the Cody Roman crybabies are why he's cry. been champion for like four years. Bro, he's been champion. Like, since was, bro, he's dude. been champion since the COVID day, dude, man. Five years yeah, since COVID. Since COVID was it? Since COVID was he champion, bro? Dude, COVID Max. I can't believe you. How many? How many? How many? He wasn't champion for one thousand four hundred. Am I allowed to vote? Or, or root for Roman Reigns? Yes, I mean, you, you could, are. Yeah, but you can't you do could. it since he did it to, to COVID. Max, he was wearing a mask when he when he first got. Yeah, he, but yeah, he's been he's been champion for I'm the last four years, bro. For Roman Reigns, Come on. and I can't wait to see the crybabies. Oh my god, dude, don't worry, the crybabies will uh, uh, be there, Max. Yeah. Max, I'll tell you right now, right? Cody's yeah. gonna win this. There's a reason behind it. No, because this is a Rock versus Cena 2.0. That's, That's true. Yeah, they got to set up a match for next year. Some would say also Roman versus the giant guy. Yeah, because if you yeah, think yeah. about it. CJ, CJH Entertainment says watch party. Two choices, Fury Road or comedy, the interview. I don't like the interview that much. Obviously, panel will pick the action uh, but let's get a vote. Well, well, Fury Road will be the better option. The interview? The new will be for the new one. Uh, Dude, Fury why don't you put Sucker Punch? But, but I'll say this, right? The reason why I say Cody's going to win this because last year he didn't win this, and True. At, Wrestle- at WrestleMania 28, yeah. uh, the Rock beat Cena, so it's the same thing. It's yeah, a v- yeah it's unless you want the streets thing. of Philadelphia to be right. It's like poetry. It rhymes. Yeah, Max. If you, you yeah, have, yeah. You have to have yeah, good luck. You don't see it rhyming, Max. I remember when the Eagles won the, the championship. Rock. Oh my God! Bro. Strange. Do you want me to be? Do you want me to be? You would rather? You want me to be wow. your friend, or you want me to lie? To yeah, you? Well, dude. Well, Max, this well, is Max, movie well. madness. He's obviously going to root for the Hollywood Wait, Max, guy. Scroll down, Hello. Scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down. Back. Movie madness. So here's, yeah. Excuse me, Max. What's up, Cody's going to win on night. This is what you're missing, Max. But scroll down. Yeah. Max, Rock you're missing important plot lines here, Max. Rock and Roman are going to win on night one because 
if Rock and Roman Who's win. Who's this douche? I don't even like this well, guy. Steph, 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 that's Seth Rollins. That's Seth, Seth Rollins. Rollins. That's a great the, family guy. The, the, guy a who, the guy who broke up the shield. No, no, wait. Let me say it. He's a revolutionary, a visionary. He's a revolution. That's what he called himself. Seth freaking Rollins. He's a revolutionary, dude. He started a revolution over in a small country. I'm, I'm just saying that. <laughs> you, will, you will get your wish. Rock will win on night one. But he's right. not going to win night two. Yeah. No, he will yeah, win Rock the night one. Win. So, Max, you should only do a night one watch. No, no, because no. Rock is going to be there night two. No, he's going to yeah, be but there he only wins the night one. You just spoiled it for the whole team. No, 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 no. That's no, no, no. prediction. No, Pep, it's a prediction. He's not guaranteed. Pep, Pep, Pep yeah. what we're doing is we're going to be reacting to it yes. on the MME channel. But then, we'll but we only want the Rock to win. We don't want him to lose. No, I want him to lose. So we can't watch the second night because he loses in the second night, correct? Pep, Pep. Teladia. No. No. He doesn't lose in the second night. Rock <laughs> oh the second God. night. Pep, Can no. you guarantee me The Rock wins both nights? No. no. The Rock, then the I'm not watching. Then I'm not watching. I'm I'm down for Hollywood. I'm Hollywood, baby. I'm Hollywood, and I only go for Hollywood. And The Rock is Hollywood. Make no mistake. Why? Because, right? yeah, if, if The Rock was in charge of DC, you'd think he'd bring back it, wouldn't you? Wow. No. No. All, all I could say is if, if <laughs> WrestleMania 40 ends with The Rock on top, yeah, There's it's not going to happen. So we shouldn't watch insane. the second night. I'm definitely not watching the second night. It's going to be insane. If Cody not Rhodes, just second night, I'm streaming. Up, you know, on the second night, just falling through and getting his the completion of his story. People are like, oh, okay, that was cool. And then they're going to go back to not watching as much. If you no, watch, I don't know. About that. No, I know about that. Shows you're not watching the product at all. He's like uh, the biggest star they got. Right he's now. the biggest star they have right now. It's yeah. the biggest oh, other than Cody Rhodes. Yeah, Cody Rhodes is the biggest. Johnson, the most popular. Yeah, no, Cody Rhodes is the biggest. Star he, he's they have the right most now. popular, and then CM Punk is the second popular. Dude, the man, the man's yeah. a meteorite. You can't stop him. Not even with oil drillers. He's the new John Cena, basically. Well, CGH, I'll put a new pull up. Uh, let me know. What, yes, obviously so, the so Matt, picked the ac action movie, but let's get. What's a the action movie? The interview had action scenes. So Max, I have, I have a question. We got in a tank you. in the end. Yeah, so Max, you know, sorry, I was gonna ask Max. I have a question for you. Mad Max? Uh, no. How quick in the match do you think Rock is gonna pass out because he's like gassed out? Oh. He can't do it anymore. What are you talking I, about? I give him five. Not minutes. as quick as Cody yeah. crying his ass off. Bro, he's reversible. Listen, if you, if you, all right. You want me to get really real? Let's Bro, get, yeah, let's get real. Let's get Matt, really real. Matt, I'm let's tired. Be All these kids John are on their Cena. fucking iPhones. Let's get Matt, real. Matt, let's Matt. get really real. John Rock Cena it looks way better. The fact that you think you could experience value, a movie on a freaking iPhone, out, get real. If you're taking oh out God. the entertainment value, and if you're talking about physique, physique and ability. Of, John Cena's more put, peak. No, if you put Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, versus Cody Rhodes. Cody's and it was younger. Not, and it was not art. It was not entertainment. It wasn't. I'm not going to use the word fake because wrestling fans get upset when you say fake. But if it wasn't just entertainment and they were actually in a real brawl and really going at each other, The Rock would win hands down. Audrey, let me make you a prediction. I'm sorry. If it was not entertainment think, and you're taking his, that out of it, The Rock would win. Yeah. Audrey, let, me, let me make Which you a prediction. Means nothing in the form of I reckon then. Seth Rollins will turn heel in this match. Ooh. That's true. I, I think, didn't think of it like that. Because if you think about it, up. let's go Hollywood. Because Seth Rollins got to face uh, got to face Drew McIntyre on night mm. two, and CM Punk yeah. is going to be there on commentary. So here's what I believe: I think Seth will turn on Cody, The Rock, and Roman will win, and it'll call Bloodline rules. And then night two, Cody will win, but due to the help of Stone Cold Steve Austin, John Cena. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that and that will cause a big uproar with uh Roman Reigns and The Rock to set up WrestleMania next year. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, also Kane. All what right. Kane? Kane's so, Kane's so busy. Matt, so, Kane's busy. So no, Max, he's not busy anymore. So Max, Kane now, is Kane is chilling, man. So Max, now yeah, that you're in WrestleMania that you're actually excited for. You can He could be there if he wants to. Scroll okay. scroll down. Scroll down. Or, no, but I, I want to, I want you to legit answer that, RJ, because I know you're a Cody fan. If you, if they were really in a real, real bout with no entertainment value, really fighting for the lives, who would win, Cody Rhodes or, or Rock? <laughs> Cody Be Rhodes. Oh, you're so full of it. 
He's younger. He has a tattoo. Hey, he's got what the does tattoo, tattoo too. It gives him, it. gives him. I don't know powers. what does anything have to do with it. The phys, you know, the physique. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I, I do. A real th- fight, I do think, I mean, yeah, I Rock's do think pretty big. Rock's roided the up. Rock too, is I pretty think. big, guys. Yeah, oh, I'm he's not pretty, pretty, he's pretty huge. I mean, if you think about it, he's is pretty he facing big. himself. He looks like the same guy. That's kind of racist. Yeah, that's racist. What do you mean? Inappropriate. That reminds me of the scene in uh, Alien you Covenant. They look the same because that's kind of. Yeah. I want to. They just have different hairstyle. Like in a Alien Covenant, bit. With Michael I, 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 I mean, they do have the, the long flute, hair. I give you they that. They that. even have the same amount of chest hair. It's weird. Hey yo. They even have the same like uh rubber band. Wrist, rubber band. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but that's every wrestler. <laughs> every wrestler wears that. As the same. Yeah, every wrestler wears that and has that beard. Uh, okay? I would say. Uh, I would go Can one of them at least try to have a gimmick so they don't look alike? I so they, they have they have uh, characters. What so, are they? Yeah, they're, they're play if they're playing like it's like a movie. They like explain they, their oh, character. I really want to Snickers. Oh, no, they're 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 play his character. Trying to go into a history of the characters. Just no, just say prediction. Jay what he believes in. Like he's an honest, true to blue guy. Like they you know, just the basics. Hesh, chest there. Give me a basic CJ character. Run. wants to interrupt the wrestling talk with a super chat. So if of anyone's, course upset with, if anyone's upset with that, uh, he's on X as well. Go follow him. Or CJ's Entertainment him. Plus. <laughs> Why has George Lucas bothered to expand his legacy? He's mainly known for Star Wars. He should make more movies like American Graffiti or THX. He tried. He, he tried doing that, and then they bombed. Strange Music and Red uh, Tails. Red Tails with Cubic. Red Jupiter. Tails even didn't direct. So RJ, here's what well, I he, he helped it. produce. Red that. Da- he didn't even direct. No, Red said Tales. It, he said it was his, one of his goals to get, bring that to light. That that so, project. Yeah. So RJ, wait, 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 Strange TJ Magic. Played... He directed. I think. What's Strange Magic? It's a uh, 3D. It's actually not that bad. It's is 3D. it a short? No, it's a 3D animated movie, and there's show. There's like mu- It's a musical. But they it's do like musical? existing songs. They do existing songs. Oh, so or, not that. exactly yeah. musical, but yeah. Anyway. Well, we know that George directs stuff, but he doesn't release them. And, we, and, we like that. Yeah. Anyway. They, they, Wait, no, this is even, $5 even super though, chat. We can't anyway this. Yeah, yeah, yes. well, listen, no, even, it's $5. Even, like, we know, we know, Joe, we know George Lucas yes, directs is. stuff, but like, he doesn't no, release not. them. Yes, like, it is. You pay zero. I've been saying publicly already. Like, he directs uh, or it, RJ, who you think's winning here? I would say Drew. I think it's Drew McIntyre. I, I, Drew I, win. I, I'm sorry. Like, how many days? Steph was the champion. Ooh. 500 days, right? I, hey, Max, I didn't get to say I, anything this about This is EO Sky, easily. I like so, the ladies. I'm going so, to go with Bailey. Bailey. Wait, wait. I'm going to say this. Drew McIntyre definitely has the fire in his eyes. Drew will win this because he'll turn face, meaning baby face, and Seth is going to be heel. And this will be the first time Drew has won a championship in front of a crowd. Last time he won a championship was yeah, in was an empty COVID. during COVID. So this will be the first COVID. time. See, yeah, I don't so think this... so, though, because Drew McIntyre is doing the best heel work of his career. So I don't think that yeah, will but, he, but he's going to go against. Oh, don't fix it. The way yeah, I but think he's, he's going to go against um, CM Punk next year. Yeah, that's year. what I'm saying. I yeah. think Drew is going to work better as a heel. Yeah. Yeah, because he's going to yeah. go against CM Punk next year in WrestleMania. But then again, it is. No, Seth no, no. It'd be SummerSlam. It'd be SummerSlam. I mean, we're talking about Seth freaking Rollins here. I think it's not a joke. Seth, Seth freaking Rollins will basically turn heel because yeah. I we've seen we've seen it before. He turned heel, and that's his best work is heel. Yeah, and I, it, I think yeah. Rollins can turn heel just like after this match. I think, they, I think both these gentlemen look yeah. good in heels. No. I mean, I mean, I, I just see Drew McIntyre winning, and the crowd just. By the way, I, lo- I love that when Matt saw the whip. He's like, ooh, ooh like a monkey. Okay, now now we could go to the Now we could go. Now we could go to the woman. Okay, now I could leave. Bye, everyone. Great no, discussion. No, why are you leaving? Amazing. Why are you leaving? Uh, I'm not into wrestling. I'm just memeing over here. I thought you were. No, I was convinced. I was just copying what everyone else was saying. Well, you got to vote on these two. Okay, uh, Eco versus Bay. I go for Eo. Eo Sky. She's forever queen. She's the best wrestler <laughs> ever. No one could like. Who's gonna deny that? They flew She's her from. from hell, yeah. They flew her from uh, what country? RJ. Japan. They flew she's her from, from Japan. Japan. You don't think she knows what she's doing? 
Dude, she has the power of anime on her side, man. It's over. Get out. <laughs> power of anime. <laughs> and then he dips. So I think well. it's Bailey. Uh, Bailey. Yeah. Bailey's finally a baby face again after so long. Yeah. EO Sky. Yeah, since, um, since um, Mercedes. Since Mercedes left the company, right? Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, been a long time. Plus, Canadian $5. Eventually, this is going to add up to something. Paying customer means nothing to some people. LOL. Especially when it's about wrestling. Hey, your money will mean something if you buy me food. Yeah. What are you talking about, RG? You know, I I need food. Joking, CJ. I'm only joking. Don't take it so serious. Like, come on. <laughs> Waifu Sky. Oh, okay. Is that what yeah. Jade thinks? I'm I'm okay. a little. I'm. I have a ba- harder Bailey. Time. Bailey's the fan favorite. Here. I have I a harder Bailey's time the picking one. the ladies. I would like to it. see their state, your their uh ring presence, like what their moves are. I have no. I am having a hard time. But if I'm just gonna vote just on the image here, I don't know. Bailey looks kind of cool too. Uh, I'm I'm going I'm with Bailey. Guy. I think Bailey's winning this. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I like her jacket. I like. No, her jacket. I do like that. Is it's that is I love. I love jacket. when wrestler does this custom it's, stuff. It it's ba- it's Bailey to win because for me, I think Bailey has been far too much of a heel as as of late. It's her yes. turn to to become babyface and. Now it's time for her to be a champion again after so many years. Yeah, uh, plus you got this is a classic story of friend betraying another friend. Bailey yeah. was betrayed and she's like just trying to just reclaim, you know, get some ground again against the people who betrayed her. Yeah, you know, classic story, you know. Gotta classic have the good story, guy yeah. win. Gotta have Bailey right. who's who's the good guy win here. So Yeah. Next one right. is Oh I like Rhea Ripley. Oh like yeah, I know. We know you. Mom, in your yeah, wait, why do you know? Do, what do you because, know? Because, because, because people put that booty in your face, right? Hey, <laughs> no, that was an amazing clip. I and I saw people were upset with. That. No, that clip was great. I, I see she was, was doing actually, that over. Was Becky Lynch? That was part of the promo too. Okay. Yeah, but oh yeah, I her fighting, her fighting. Yeah, Becky that was that was an interview. Saying okay. Uh, yeah. Rhea Ripley. I she's, forgot what was the I, last. I, I forgot what was the last time. I Britain liked her before the butt move. I think she's cool. No, she no, she's very. Uh, yeah, she's. Yeah, I know, she's cool. it, I think she's if she cool. does, I think yeah, if she does, Australian. I like. Uh, yeah, she I is like Australian. Yeah. Yes. I think if she wins again, people will get mad. No, so yeah. I am definitely. R- r- I think. I think. I, I think. It's, yeah. I think. I also think it's gonna be Rhea Ripley that wins mostly because yeah. I don't. I don't see them. Her dropping the belt anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. Going a yeah. Bit more She's way too popular. But although Becky contract expires soon, so I don't know. Her, yeah, the, yeah. So I, I think but she, I don't this think is going to kick off yeah. WrestleMania weekend. By the way, this is going to be the first I, match. I mean, tomorrow. she is more popular. I, from what I could tell, as an outsider, they're both very popular. Yeah. They're both than, super popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, right. then like China back in the day, like people say she's kind of like you know has that sort of physique too. Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. You know. Well, the good thing about WrestleMania is that before the matches, they always play like a little video that explains the story going in, mm-hmm. see so an idea of what's been going on, see so a little bit of history. So, you, like, that's yeah, why I appreciate on, on, the like, on like the other company that we should not be named. Oh, please. I Can everyone defeat Logan Paul. I don't want Logan Paul. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? Is this Logan the same Paul's one that's actually, going Logan up Paul's against... Actually, uh, no, but Logan is a good... Uh, Logan is good, is, Isn't he going up against Mike Tyson, or am I mixing No, that's his, no that's, his that's his brother. That's his brother, Jake. Screw both of them. I don't care. Damn. I don't I don't like either one of them. I Please. Okay, so who do you want to win Mike that? Tyson in there to take out Logan. So who do you want to win, then? Uh, I remember Randy Orton back in the day. Kevin Owens kind of looks like a douche. Uh, I'll go no, Randy no. Orton. Wait, yeah. Oh, yeah, Voltaire hasn't even commented. Yeah. Voltaire, yeah, these, are, these are your YouTube Canadian. colleagues. You got against Canadians. Look, you, two, you like Canadians. Listen, Logan, just be. Did I say talk about failing upwards like with Geeks and Gamers and all the other stuff? I've never seen the entertainment industry isn't where people fail. Oh, yeah, upwards. The, yeah, the four, it's yeah, YouTube that's, and yeah, social yeah. media, and that's why Logan Paul and Jake Paul are popular. And PewDiePie, they Book suck. It. But he's a good they wrestler, suck. though. I don't care. He's annoying, and he's failed upwards. You know. There he's you the have it. Champion. So yeah, they're my contemporaries, and I say screw them. 
Damn. I mean, well, if people, that Kevin people Owens looks like a douche when he's like the only Canadian here. Damn. Like, oh, Kevin Owens Max is Canadian. Max, Canadian. Max is an issue with Canadians. Confirmed. No, if he's a Canadian now, I'll actually go for. I'll change my vote. I like. What is that? Are they all going to get three of them get in the ring and just go at it like a Royal Rumble? Yeah, a triple threat match means it's, it's a three triple, yeah, ring. triple threat. Yeah. Yeah. No, I it, Canadian's a plus. I, didn't I, I think I, I think he's probably, I don't he'll think, probably yeah. leave the door. He'll probably lose though. Yeah, yeah, I think, oh, yeah, I, I think Andy's win it. Probably gonna win, still win. Um, we'll see though. I think Logan Paul <laughs> I wins. think I think Andy deserves it because I think I think he's been out of the ring for like what like Steve. I can see three. Randy going for like the the main championship. Did you know? Perp leave again? What, we have what, so what, many what, no, he Is left. Guy from the real world still wrestling or what? I don't know. Wait, what's up? What? The guy from the real world. What do you mean? Miz, is he still wrestling? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, down. yeah of course. Down. Of course. He's wrestled once in a while, depending. Ooh, who is this guy? Oh, so good. Me, is yeah. the longest How really? many title belts are there? Jeez. Um, a lot. A lot. Uh, so I'm, going go, I'm going with Sammy. I don't, I, that look, I, yeah, I, I'll go with Sammy as well. Yeah. Like, Gunther is the longest reigning uh, intercontinental see, he champion. Like he's in smelling history. a bad fart. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he is like, the. Yeah, but I think. I think. I think. Yeah, Gun- bro, I think Gunther's had the belt for like over like a thousand days or something. Like yeah, he's held it the longest. Anybody? Yeah. So, I, 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 I think, think that- I think that continues. I don't think he's losing. Yes. Really? Gunther wins. Yeah, I think Gunther's winning. Gunther. He looks like he he just smelled spoiled milk or something. Oh my god. <laughs> Sammy all the way. Yeah. I don't think I don't think Sammy's winning this. I, I don't think it's time. All right, who are these guys? This is a brother Jay versus Uso? brother match. Oh good my guy. god, terrible! Yes, yeah, so this is a Jey Uso, the good guy. I, I'm Uso I'm being fed. very superficial here. I'm going braids over mullet. I don't like the mullet. But braids. Jimmy, well, Jimmy Uso's a bad guy. He's teaming. He's yeah, teaming Jimmy, he's, 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 he's got a mullet. I'm, a, I'm gonna go with Jay. I'm gonna go with JJ. Yeah, you can't have Jay. that guy beat his brother. Come on. Yeah, he's gonna beat the shit out of his brother. And I Max, still have Snickers. Yeah, sponsored by Snickers. I've saved up the stream for tomorrow. So okay, thank you, thank you. The real Cain and Abel situation. What, right, is undisputed, what is this? This is a oh. tag team ladder match for the tag team championship. Oh yeah. Wait, right. so wait, wait, didn't they announce they split the tag team? Well, the rumor is that there's going to be two winners because it'll be one gets the SmackDown belt. <laughs> is one that gets the, the Miz the in the up left? Yeah, yes, so that's, that's Miz. There's a real there. world guy. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I swear, Miz, Miz is a hit. I don't like any of them. I don't like any of these. Uh, I don't think. Mm, I'm a You don't go... like Miz and Awesome Truth? Uh, he's he's too over the top in that picture. Awesome Truth. Yeah, because yeah, Truth he's, is he's the funniest guy. Our truth. Yo, Truth is the funniest guy truth, ever. Truth bro. is like the funniest person in the world. I'll go with <laughs> the guy twirling his mustache. And that guy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Those are going to win. I don't like the guy pointing at himself there. Or these two. Very, in the front. I, yeah. don't know. I like tag teams with a gimmick where they dress the same. So that's yeah. very important, I feel. Hey, Rhea, how's it going? Hello, Rhea. Hello. We got 150 viewers because we got X, Rhea. Yeah, all the wrestling people are, are watching. Yeah. Uh, all 10 Canadian, CGH Entertainment, 699 Canadian. All you, you've, you've paid. For my uh, my my VHS, you know, I appreciate it. Meteor Man, I forgot what it was. Meteor Man, <laughs> Meteor Man. I'm God bless Elon. One. Okay, so CGH says all ten Canadians that Americans know will ride at dawn with our polar bears to rise up against the Americans. There you go. I would I love to see be... that. CG... I would love uh, RJ... to see that. People RJ... would laugh. <laughs> You uh, yeah, my, my prediction is over this, that. I think uh, Austin Truth wins. I think DIY, uh, DIY wins. I think you get two different. I think there might be a surprise that we don't know yet. Little, little movie perp says none of you know wrestling. It's very clear. Hollywood Rock for title win. He will bring it out. Eric Bischoff and Diamond Dallas Page with Nitro no, Girls. No, we need to update for real. <laughs> no. I miss. Hey, Nitro Girls. That's like from like the nineties. That's the Voltaire, are you going to be watching wrestling with us tomorrow? Or is it, you can't do it? Well, I mean, while I'm working, I can have it on, sure. Okay. 7, p- it's 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Well, that's 4 o'clock Pacific. I'll be at the office. I'll, I, I can join and just do my work while you guys are while working we're Working from the weekend, man. Yeah. 
Uh, so many people here. He, like he, he, has, he has to make the money. Yeah, you gotta make the money. You gotta make. I'm all about the money, Anthony. Money, money, money. Yeah. <laughs> That's the '90s. I got it. My 360 game is amazing. Uh, oh, the the, 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 yeah, the yeah, those two Ks. Oh, man. it's so good. I just wish I had more time to play it. Is there? Is there more? Was that it? I think there should there's be more. Uh, there's more. Yeah. Oh. Is, this, is this three different tag teams going at each other? The six oh, LA team? Knight, yeah. LJ, AJ I think, I'm going with LA Knight. Yeah, LA L- Knight is the cooler. Yeah. LA Knight, yeah. Yeah. I don't like AJ Styles. What? what? AJ, AJ used to be cool, bro, but he's not no cool no more. It's a very generic look, the long hair. with Ooh, the Ray Mysterio. And yeah. I don't like this guy in the bottom right. Oh, that's um, his son. Yeah, that's son, his yeah. son. Dominique. He's fighting his like, son. Dude. He's fighting like his son. Yeah, Ray Mysterio has to be like 60 years old. And he's got a mullet too. I know. I, I appreciate the old guy. He's Ray Mysterio. How old is he now? He's probably like Ray Mysterio <laughs> Jr. Show those newer generations 40, that they're 50s. soft. That's what it's about. 40s, 50s. He's I facing his well, he's son. That's be awesome. Yeah, he's facing his son. He, he's 49. And then the, 49. Guy, the, the guy above Ray Mysterio has that thing on his eyes. I was thinking about doing that to Wait, my eyebrow. That's Ray the shot of that. Does that, like, does that mean you're like that... a real gangster if you, if you like, no, 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 Go to that. Go to that fancy pantsy salon. You. Go I need to trim her, again. Uh, No, she up. trims it for me. No, make her make that like hole there in the or the spot like this wrestle. This is why you had the mask on, I reckon, Max, because of that. Oh, you hear oh, this? Wow. <laughs> wow. Damn, that's harsh. That's harsh. No, but I'm definitely going for Ray Mysterio Jr. Who, who's your own? Dominique is, is is Eddie. Look go- at that oh mugging son's that mugging his son's doing. Like I don't. Yeah, like I, I, I'll go with. <laughs> I'll go with Ray. I, I'm I think with Ray and Andrade. I want Ray Mysterio to win, but I think Dominic's gonna win because <laughs> Dominic lost last year. So I think yeah, really slick back this year. What kind of a man beats up his own father? Oh, the street versus Adam. Uh, so Bobby uh, Lashley and the Street Profits versus the Final Testament. I like uh, I like the guy with the 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 Morpheus glasses. Yeah, he's married. Yeah. He's married. Why he's married he's to Bianca. Bianca. He's Bianca Belair. Yeah, it's three yeah. versus three. They have that now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, CGH Entertainment, six ninety nine Canadian. Test the super chat to see if it gets interrupted by Taladia with wrestling. LOL. Uh-oh. Wait, he didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, he didn't say get interrupted by Taladia. He just said get interrupted in general. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, let's go ahead and skip it and go keep scrolling. Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby Lash is going to win this one, yeah. I, I, like, I like the tag that the Three on the left, better. Okay. Um. Oh, the ladies again. J- Jade Cognell is gonna win this one. And the ST and Naomi. So they got a six woman tag match. Oh, that's that. That's that wrestler. She. I saw her in some um IGN like trailer twenty two K twenty four. Bianca. Where they, yeah, they, Bianca. Yeah, where yeah, they, yeah. They, they they showed like her braid going like that. Yeah, she's, she's Bianca. She's the, yeah, yeah. she's the cover star. For the game, so um, yeah, she's a superstar. Yeah, she's stealing uh, the Joker routine. I would go for the team on the right if it wasn't for that one in the front. What? Look at Oscar. 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 Team on the left. Damn, that's that's discrimination. What do you got against, against face? Yeah, what do you got against? Like I don't like her face makeup at all. Wow, so bad. Max, I'm gonna call this look, right now. Look, the reason why I think Jade Cardinal is gonna win because she's a she's got a lot to prove in the WWE and it's her first match in the WWE since leaving AEW wrestling. Oh my god! What that the company that barely put six thousand people? Yes. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, that company that company's ass, bro. I, I, I mean, good That's for them. The, 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 the only good thing about the company. Bianca Belair, Naomi, Jade Cargill, Dakota Kai, Asuka, 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 Asuka. Ask Kimmy uh, Hini Ha. Kimmy Hini Ha. Kimmy Ha. Have a Oh Freya says, I like the Peter Chris face paint girl. Oh, that's Ray, a reference, Freya. Ray, you should come and join that's, us. That is a reference. 
So it should uh, be a fun weekend. I think it'll be a pretty good set of matches. No, it's hopefully. great. I'm happy I, for I, wrestling fans. I, I think this is probably going to be the most viewed WrestleMania of all time. Yeah, I think the views for this year's WrestleMania are going to be insane. So it's like, not going to be all, you all, all, all you 139 viewers on X will be watching on X as well tomorrow, right, Taladia? Uh, no, it'll be no. They can't see the stream. So because of coming, I mean, they can see your reactions. Yeah, see your reaction. Sure. Yeah. The people, I the people, the people, well, the people oh. X could, could see, could see the, the WWE thing, but the YouTuber side can't. Yeah, yeah that was fun. Uh, <sighs> well, I do have to retire for the evening, though, because I do got some errands to run. We it's didn't even a... get, oh, you're, you have to get, prepare for WrestleMania. I do, yeah, uh, plus it's no yes. long But we still had good get... news of Twitter we didn't get to and other topics. Okay, but, uh, I mean, I mean, you guys well, are I don't gotta be here. That's true. All right. So you I got, plus, I want to call my friend because I am. Oh, yeah, yeah. This morning, so. Wish them the best. Yeah. Yes. Wish them nothing yeah. for the best. All right, guys. Talk to you later. See you later. All right. See you later. See you later. All right. So, what should we do? Other topics or Voltaire? Are you looking for good news of Twitter or what? You no, know, I think that's an A plus segment. Okay. That's a D minus segment. <laughs> yeah, that's an A plus Yeah, segment. all you X viewers, we have an amazing, highly rated segment on MME Live. Where we look for good news on on X, um, on X. Oh yeah, and I got the Superman. George Lucas is irrelevant, Jade. He sold it off. He's done. Who cares? He's not irrelevant. How dare you, sir? Yeah, he sold it. He sold his four billion dollar franchise instead of making movies. Where's the George Lucas super chat? I don't know about the. Which one was the George Lucas one? Perp, or uh, sorry, not perp. CJH sent one. Oh, why hasn't George bothered to expand? I, I said this. Yeah, yeah we, we he has. He has, CJH. Well, he, he has. Like past, he... Past those things. I would like him to revisit. I actually, I want to watch THX 1138, I think it is, right? I haven't, yeah, I haven't really make a never big really deal about it now, but it's a boring movie, dude. Yeah, I only remember watching a little bit back on the day. I want to give it another shot. American Graffiti, I got that on VHS. Do you really? Yes. Well, there you go. I have the collector's edition. It's a clamshell. Um, okay, so good news of Twitter. Do you have Fast Times at Ridgemont High? No, and I've never seen it. That's one you should look for. No, I know. I do. I do. So Shogun, a series I didn't watch yet. Did you, Who here's watched Shogun? I've watched every episode. It is Maze Balls. Okay. Well, this is a variety interview with the main star. I've seen him so many places. He's great. And he's basically like, Kathy Kennedy, I like Star Wars. Put me in Star Wars. And they're, are they going to do it? No, they're not. Uh, sure. maybe, well, they do have the, the Godzilla Minus One director. And Star Wars Celebration is it going to be is going to be in Japan in 2025 or 2026. Mm -hmm. So that would be a perfect opportunity. Is sure. Kathy Kennedy smart enough to execute? Maybe, or maybe, or maybe the Jones, Joe, um, James Mangle movie. We'll see. Yeah, that's true as well. We'll see what he's. Who are you hoping to hit up for a, a new job? Do you want Star Wars? Do you want Marvel? What do you want? Yeah, you all of them, them. especially all of them, all of them. Star Wars. Yeah, I'm especially big... Star Wars. Why are you gonna get? Can you imagine if he was a Sith or a Jedi? Unbelievable. Oh, for sure. I think he'll be good. I don't know. Bro. What do you think, Altair? Yeah, he's very good. I mean, he, he you know, he plays much older in Shogun than he looks here. Um, but yeah, he's excellent. I would totally right. totally he's lock him good. down. Yeah. Especially after the success of Shogun. Before They're not smart Shogun, enough to do it though. Um, and I still don't watch it. One of them. So yeah, can't your favorite character. Um, I cannot say one. Oh, he copped out. Because uh -huh. world itself. Wait, is that Kieran Gilliam in the back there? Uh, I don't know. I can't say it's amazing. World itself is amazing. I think it's it's, oh, it is, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, because they're doing the Disney. Yeah, yeah. Dis, Disney. Who are you hoping Hulu. to hit up for a, a new job? Do you want Star? Okay, so we. Yeah, they're doing the, the, the Disney Plus. Yeah. You don't like that guy? No, I find him very uh, annoying. He's back as Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 2. Yeah, he is Scorpion. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's doing yeah, he's doing that. 
I think that's coming out this next year. Yeah, twenty twenty five. This will be my favorite got character, hands down. If he's, I want him to be in Star Wars so bad. Is well, the Fallout see. series live yet? No, I, next... I, I, I want to watch it. Yeah, next week, May, Monday. No, I think it comes on Monday. Let me make this bigger here. Let me see what the fall. Happy out. first contact day, it's from oh. San Witwer. Happy fall. Oh, that's me. Oh, retweet Hi. that stuff. I oh, you Xers. Oh, you Xers, retweet this for me, please. Uh, <laughs> I retweet this because it was funny. Uh, oh, it's gonna come on April twelfth. Crime is never out. funny. No, crime's not funny. But bro is one second away from losing four stars in GTA. There's a suspect trying to get into somebody's property or still trying to hide. Oh, I like, remember you watch very, GTA very poor. poor job of it right there. LAPD. <laughs> is that bad? Coming to a stop. It does oh, look like on, Grant. God. It looks like Grand Theft Auto. He's right. He's trying there. to hide. They don't the see him. Actually, he's working. Right. <laughs> they they literally don't see him. Wow. He's going to he's going jump off the fence. A lot of adrenaline. Oh my goodness! Sorry, is this uh, real? Is this real? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just on, it's on good time. It, yeah, I remember watching this clip when it first came. I was like, wow. Pilot really? today talking on O2, trying to tell the officers that this suspect is right there. Oh, that's a view. Yo, yeah, that's and a again, flip. you just saw that. That's oh, a flip. Well, my goodness, I just made that's a what he did. Yo. Honestly, on, I'm not. I don't root for criminals, <laughs> but. It really does. Doesn't it really depend on what? I don't want him to hurt it. Yo, no, yeah, but whatever he did is bad. But no, bro, stop, like, Max. He, yeah, he, I'm, I, I'm a running from the cops in a car like that. You're threatening so many lives. You're, you're, yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on meth. He's cracked out. Forget okay. about it. Yeah, he could have jumped over. He could have jumped over the. No, he's too fat. No, no. Oh, this, this, this guy. This, this is a hero. Well, this is an old video, but a good one. Yes, I never saw one, this yeah. before today. Never? Wow. Yeah, he, 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 he got the alligator. Yeah. That is amazing. This guy's look, an alpha male. I wish I was this man. Look, 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 he got, look, 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 he got him. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. Like, this is the easy part, quite honestly. No, he got the easy part. Now, now he's a big-ass show. Yeah, now he's going to go. This and is the part yeah. takes time. Yeah. yeah, come on, come on. There you go. Easily. That's the hero That's right there. That's a man. That's a 10 yeah. out of 10, bro. You know, he, yeah, you know he got some that night. Whew. Yeah, he did. <laughs> that lifting that thing up with the alligator in there, that's, that makes him, you know what. And I, be, I believe he called what? Animal control? Is he taking it out to the track? He's taking it out to the corner. He's no, go. he's going. He, he called. He called. I think he called somebody to pick it up. He should barbecue that thing. Now, look, all those girls are swarming right now. You could barbecue. I will barbecue that shit up. I don't care. Oh, he's taking it back to the swamp or whatever. Yeah, the swamp. Oh, is he yeah. releasing it? Yeah, Are to the swamp. Serious? I didn't saw this part of the video. Actually. He never. He didn't even. He didn't even like call someone else. He really oh, the animal control. Back. Yeah, animal this control. This is a man. Yeah. This is a man. I don't think I could. Voltaire, would you be able to do this? Yeah, yeah. I, hey, listen. I thought he was the first call part is easy. Lifting yeah. the thing up while the thing is in there, I, I, I mean, I, I wish I could do that. Is that is Sparta. really? Impressive. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie and say it's easy. I, it's, it's not easy. This guy, this guy kicks some ass. But let's see, did he, does he release it back into the wild? I didn't know. I didn't watch this ahead of time. I just watched the first part. This is a look. He's like, I'm gonna release it into the wild. Well, what I would have done is probably um have He's you ate, have you have you a a alligator? Oh, he wasn't planning to wrestle a gator. He's no. not even wearing shoes. I mean, this, this no, guy. No, hey, no, this is easy to catch one of those doing with sense. <laughs> it is not easy. I don't. Yes, I'm. Oh my! Yeah. God. Would you be able to do this? No, nah, he probably won't. <laughs> All right, should I skip ahead? A little bit. Yeah, Cooper, a little bit. I want to see what he does. Oh, wait, wait, uh, wait, missed okay, He just dropped it. Yeah, okay. Does he run? Like, I would, I, I would like drop it, like, ah! Does he walk off? Does he walk off like the Joker, like, blew up the hospital? Just like, yeah, that's I would have, I probably would have just, oh, he, yeah, he cannot go get, um, yeah. He still had a manly run. I, I, you know, there's nothing wrong with him running. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, what are, oh, are you gonna say? tired. No way. After all that fight, he just give up. I need my trash can back. Nah, I leave the trash can. Where's that, bro? He's sleeping. Oh, no, he's not waking up from the sleep. Okay. There you go. There you go, buddy. Hey, look, hey, look at that. Oh, and then, and then he's up to the swamp. 
There oh, Rhea's go. here. Rhea's here, everyone. Hello, Rhea. Hey, Rhea. How's it going? Uh, Rhea, would you would you have enough guts to do that to that alligator? Hmm. I missed uh, the clip. What is this? Oh, this 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 hero. Um, he <laughs> catches an alligator in his garbage can. That's and then, um, that's big brain uh, moves right there. And then okay, this part is easy. This is the hard part right here. This is the part that takes guts. Because if that thing flips too much and the alligator jumps out at you, you're in trouble. And then he releases it in the wild. That's amazing. Well, the other guy's just looking at him with the phone. Damn. <laughs> Two months of acknowledge me. Here's here's a, a infant uh, getting excited for wrestling. This is uh, Roman Reigns. Look. Acknowledge. Oh, that's too loud. I'm oh, sorry, everyone. We the ones. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Two month acknowledges the tribal chief. What do you have a lot of friends there in wrestling, Raya? We, a lot of us, a lot of us YouTubers are really in the. I'm really happy about how much wrestling's trending lately. Yeah, um, it wasn't until I started hanging out on YouTube that I realized how big wrestling is. Um, so yeah, to answer your question, no. <laughs> no, I'm I'm gonna watch it finally. I've never watched a WrestleMania live. Um, We're back in the watch fight. Back in the day, my cousin used to pay for pay-per-view. It was like 40 bucks back in the day in the 90s. And I used to watch taped on VHS taped pay-per-view events. That's the only way I've watched WrestleMania in the past. Um, oh, while you're here, Rhea, Speedstorm, do you know what the next, the next season is going to be? Wreck-It Ralph. Oh wow! I haven't heard that IP. Rush. I haven't heard about that IP in like Sugar forever. Rush with an LP uh, Von. Sh was it Von Schweetz and Wreck It Ralph? Oh, that's, that's cool. Be awesome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyone's thought? I was. I see. I tweeted this when I thought Joe was going to be here. Anyone's oh, thoughts on the movie Mannequin? Anyone remember uh, that? <laughs> I remember the mannequin that used to be on TV one it's time. Got some stereotypes in it. I haven't rewatched it since VHS, so I don't know how. It's probably problem. It's probably there's some movies I rewatch. I'm like, oh, this does not age well it's at all. Yeah, no. it's funny because um, uh, Paul McCarthy, like, it feels like he was kind of typecast with like, uh, Weekend at Bernie's. Like, you know, it's kind of like a, a dead yeah. body, and then like this is like not a dead body, but it's an inanimate object. So, yeah, I don't. I know. used to I love Weekend cool. at Bernie's. I, I remember watching Mannequin quite a few times, too. I just, my favorite VHS tape back in the day, like Adventures in Babysitting, that was one of our first ones that I never watched until VHS, and my sister put that on constantly. Um, guard Dog on Duty. <laughs> Tiny wow. Turtles with Algae. That's pretty cool i don't know like why. those turtles are so young so it's like oh like uh, algae is already growing on them so that's yeah. pretty cool all right oh this is actually really good news uh because everyone you know everyone was talking about splash mountains being changed at disney world uh, they're doing princess and the frog and the animatronics for this look amazing did you have oh, yeah, seen this yet i saw the tina one but not this one yeah this looks really cool. Voltaire, what do you think about this? I want to go back to Disney World in the next few years. Sure. Um, Ray, Ray well, you free, you've been frequent to these amusement parks. You really like you like a, you like this kind of stuff? You appreciate the animatronics and stuff? Yeah. Um, the one of Tiana um, that Andy yeah, mentioned that is really the, good. Yeah, yeah, and really um, good. I haven't seen this one yet, though. Okay, let me see. That's one thing about Disney. They really do a good job with animatronic stuff. Like, this is... Uh, wow. That's incredible. Look wow. at that. Wow. There's That's Tiana. Yeah. That looks like AI. That doesn't even look like animatronics. It's right? like animatronics are on the next level. Yeah, like, like next level yeah. tech. Yeah, like next level tech. Like, 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 you know what this means? Tickets are going up. Prices are going up. That is not real, is it? I mean, yes, that's a gift. Like, either way. <laughs> no, they are going They are going up, but now they could just... Like, well, they, the, the price always... The price level, about... The price always go up and down. It depends. Eh? That's the thing. It yeah, down. I, try, I try to go on off seasons. Um, yeah, like whenever I, you know, do stuff. Um, yeah, it's always off. It's most of the time off season. 
But this is like really, this makes me. Hang on, who's posting this, Max? Is it official? Because that, this looks fake. This looks what do you too mean? Good. This is not AI. This looks too good to look like animatronics. No, it's, no, it's Disney stuff. It's Who posted true. this? You can see the become computer. I honestly, can I be real? This like makes me think like. You know how animation is a thing, 3D animation stuff. Uh -huh. Um, instead of live action, maybe they should do some animatronic stuff. I don't know. One that would be very, that would be this one is the only one that doesn't look as good. I'll have my yeah. animatronic Jen Ortega. Yeah, the first, the first one, yeah, the, the, the all of them looks good. Yeah, yeah. that that drummer there's, didn't look. They're still works good. works in progress. <laughs> yeah, works in progress, but like so that's not bad. Like they're doing but a that good looks job. Really good. Yeah. The team that, looks, yeah. The team one looks good. Yeah. I mean, Wait, for... what account posted this, Max? Please, I want to know I, the veracity of it. Know. Let me see. Our DLP mm. report. I don't know who that is. They don't even have a blue check mark. <laughs> yeah, but I like, guess that nah, looks he... too good to be animatronics. I'm sorry. But nah, if James, from Disney, yeah, if you were yeah. a young person, you saw this, or I, I would be, and I was watching like, um, that's actually one I got to get on. I have to see if Princess and the Frog came out on VHS. Because I have to track that down if it did. That's, that's really the one cool. I that's the one I don't have. Um, but it can, it, can you imagine if you watched the movie and then you went to the park and you saw this and you're a young, young mind, you're like, mine would be blown. I mean, yeah. thinking about it, it's like we're in a post um, Five Nights at Freddy's world. <laughs> so yeah. maybe a kid would be freaked out by this. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> or if you were on acid or mushrooms, you'd be freaked out, I would imagine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that too. Uh, here's, some this. More. here's some more. I was amazed by this. I'm like, this is cool. Why is oh, Disney the... releasing this through third party channels? I, I just... no, it's, it's released. It's just they reposted online. Well, let, oh, let, the Imagineers let, are in house. Yeah, let's let's be yeah, real though. A lot of these big yeah. companies, this is free advertising now. Like James yeah, Gunn yeah. does this stuff too. Full there to answer your question. That's fair. Why would, why would you let your employees post this stuff? Because it gets buzz, yeah. right? Okay. They didn't cost them anything, and also, right? like Disney's one of the few companies that don't give you copy. And if you were an employee, like Ray, if you were an Imagineer and you were working on this stuff, you're like, "This is awesome." Wouldn't you want to share it? If you got, if yeah. you're like, if your uh, boss was like, "Yeah, go ahead." I mean, like to Voltaire's point, I'm sure there's a lot of sauce that we're not, you know, clued in on. But yeah, yeah. this looks like a promo for sure. Like, why, why not let your employees do this if they're working hard? And that's one of the one of the things about Disney that, uh, I mean, there's. People don't like Disney for various reasons, but a lot of the Imagineers, like, there's people that dedicate their lives at Disney that live around these parks, and they're all about creating these experiences. And you know, that's that's awesome. I I want them to also push the boundaries with the the rides and to to see what else they come up with. I know there's. Are you, I don't. Do, I don't think do they have. Do they have the Tron one yet? Uh, uh maybe that, in Florida. I can't. I can't remember. Maybe mm -hmm. I would like to. I know, know. I know they're doing the Avatar one. It's like been the Avatar, yeah. the, the, the Avatar one. Look, they, they show a picture the other It's day. been at least oh, ten sure. years since I've been there. So, damn. Yeah, I was just recently thinking, like, if we were like to you know criticize every company and like you know not patron them, there would be nowhere to shop. There would be nowhere to eat. Like you know. That's sure. why you might yeah. as well go. You, you know, if you're going to complain about everything, you might as well go <laughs> in the woods and a hole in the woods. Univer just... Universal has a good has a There's good problems with everything. Yeah. Now, this one, I got to give, uh, up, you know, Apic Eric, he does a lot of anti-SJW con. I still like him, but I got to admit that thumbnail is pretty fun. That is a crazy, After damn. the Stella Blade controversy. That's crazy. I haven't, I'm going to download the demo and try it because I was <laughs> not interested in the game at all. I wasn't, but it's like trending. I'm like, this looks like a generic character to me. Wait, IGN really hates it. Why? Because the woman is sexualized? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's I, why people is, are. Is, is IGN, man. IGN it might be hyperbolic. Um, yeah. his take on the um the article. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, yes, it's hypersexualized. It's got the male gaze. It's but, trending, oh, though. Look at it. It is. It is trending. But to me, it's just like basic character design with just the yeah. using the the certain appeal as the main selling point. And I I mean, if the gameplay is actually good, that's fine. But it doesn't have like the appeal of similar characters. They are okay with the, the certain appeal too, like uh, Bayonetta or something, you know. Yeah. Bayonetta's got a lot of style, and you know. I don't fault. Um. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Voltaire. No, no. Go ahead. 
Yeah, I was just going to quickly say, I can't really like fault um, a lot of creators for, you know, riding the wave. And, you know, I, I personally don't um, know. I mean, I personally know a few creators who, you know, they know how the algo works and, you know, it might not, and they know hyperbole, you know, how, how it works on, on their platform. And they just sort of, like I said, ride the wave. So if you like, I feel like if, if folks like, you know, took time to kind of, you know, realize yeah like you know some folks like need this as a career and yeah yeah like we all have parts in our career that you know we do that we don't really enjoy so sure. <laughs> so i try to like have that level of like empathy and i'm like okay if i look at it that way like yeah there's like some things that yeah. are questionable in terms of integrity but i don't i don't their values don't have to align with mine so yeah that's an excellent point ray if i did this for my sole source of income and if i don't do cover certain things and my family doesn't eat Especially if I'm Canada, groceries are expensive in Canada. Have you heard? CG yeah, and you're paying rent, you're paying utilities. Like, yeah. Right. So, well, uh, I, I, it's a it's a high level of um like probably, like of awareness, oh, I guess, because check, check, like you're so like upset at what they're doing. More often, check yeah. ourselves more often. Yeah. What is this yeah. new scoop guy? What is this? Yeah, Bradley. Uh, I'd love to get you on the show too soon, Bradley. I don't know if you like wrestling, Bradley, but tomorrow we're doing a WrestleMania watch party. Um, uh, what, is, let me back what is this I put on Twitter? This is the hittable Millennium Falcon is almost finished in the lobby of the Grand California at Disneyland. Oh, it's in the lobby. Oh, that's the hittable nice. Millennium Falcon. I don't know. It's got to be freeze dry. Oh, here's dry Sophia dropping dance moves at the Rebel Moon Party. Oh, she wow. was I, not, I did not know she was a good dancer. I, I am kind of, I know we all have friends around. Oh, this is bro, this Congrats is to everyone that gets to see Rebel Moon Part 2 early. I am kind of jealous. I am kind of jealous. But then I but then I look at, at my poster that my, my good friend got me, Rhea, uh, that's hanging in my room, and I'm like, okay. I'm a, I'm I, right, I would right. personally want to see the um, the director's cut of the first one. Yes. yes. Yeah, for sure. When, when but that, either way, it's a, it's a fun time. Are you still looking forward to the Rebel Moon Part Two, Raya? You know, have you watched? You've watched the first one. Oh yeah, Part Two, but yeah, like um, the uncut one would probably be. Uh, yeah. That's the one I'm most excited for. Sorry, I spoke over you, Voltaire. You did not. It's fine. But look at Sophia's dance moves. That was. I'm very happy for yeah, it. Was, it was around her, Hollywood yeah, it was for her, a it was while. Yeah, it was his birthday. Yeah. But she look at. She is amazing. Uh, yeah, look at that. I don't know. She's a good. I don't know. She's a good dancer. Wow. Wow, she's is she in, is she in Marvel uh, or DC something? Because I'm like, no, you, can you go to DC? Yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Hopefully, oh, she I, I, on flux. She really does. Wow, you know, that's oh, that one of one. that's one of Zack Snyder's strengths. Is he takes people that have been around the industry and gives them a bigger shot than some of the other directors? Yeah, I think he does yeah. that. Yeah. I think he does. He was in um. Um, he was just, in, like, uh, just like he he whether people want to give him credit or not, Gal Gadot. He had a lot to do. She yeah, thanked him. Yeah. She yeah, thanked yeah. him. A lot of people laughed at the Fast and Furious girl, and he didn't. He didn't even question it. That's something <laughs> I really appreciate Zach for. He's just like, duh. Oh, and Henry Cavill, like, who, yeah. who knows, yeah. like, where his career would have, you know, uh, landed yeah. otherwise. Yeah. Henry Cavill had a good career before Zach, but like, he Superman just elevated him to other. Oh. He, oh, Sophia was also in um, Gargoyles as well. She made a cameo in that one with Matthew mm -hmm. Vaughn. So yeah. Uh, here's CinemaCon begins next week. Oh yeah, I'm not really looking forward to this. One. I'm gonna give this one a shot for my pal Joe because he's really oh, about oh, this. Oh the one. if the if, if I'm like yeah, uh, yeah. now wicked. I'm all about this. Oh, I want to see. A, I want to see a second trailer. Please release a second trailer. Universal. Did you see, who here saw the trailer? I just saw the Super Bowl trailer. I oh, it's it was a really good trailer, Raya. Really good. Like, I, I'm, I I thought it was a decent trailer. I want to see um um Brian uh Rock Grande sings more. Like hopefully, yeah, I want to see that. In the like, and I'm, yeah. it, uh, like, I'm not sure why. I know Ar Aria Granda started on like Disney Channel or something, right? Oh, uh, Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Oh, no, okay. and, and then she, after that, she's became huge. But I don't know why she decided to come out and be in this. I know it's a musical, and that's one of her strengths. But why mm -hmm. she decided to come back to more like acting? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. It's, it's been a long time since. Yeah, uh, I I like musicals a lot. Uh, I've never really watched Wicked though. I, I, I yeah, don't Wicked know. was a is a Broadway play. Yeah, it was a Broadway play and, and adapted in, into movie. So yes, yeah. 
I was going to say um, Oz the Great and Powerful is a guilty pleasure of mine. I like that. <laughs> I saw it a few times in the theater. Was that with James Franco won that one? Yeah. 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 I like that one. Sam yeah. Raimi, yep. I think that was good. Um, you are. Was what do you think? Are you, are you interested in this at all? Wicked musicals? Oh, yeah. I love Wizard, uh, the, the Wizard of Oz. Anything. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I think um, Bruce Wicked, I, said, "I because I talked to Bruce about going. Like, I'm like, I'm gonna visit you. Maybe, maybe I'd like to go to some Broadway plays in the future." And he says, "Jersey Boys is really good." I don't know. Oh, Anthony, what were you gonna say? Oh yeah, I just, I just, um, hopefully, maybe they release uh, maybe another trailer for Wicked. You know, it's coming out. It's coming out later this year, so, so we'll see. We we probably get updates. I mean, send them a comments um, for people who's going. Like, they give updates. To the press and stuff like that, and uh, theaters owners. So some, we'll see. yeah, some of my favorite musicals, and people seem to forget Willy Wonka. The first one was a the, oh, when Jim was was the new. The, I heard the new um, one was great. Rocky I, I, Horror Picture I, Show. I love Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, trying to think of some other ones. Moulin Rouge was good. It's not my favorite. I don't know. Voltaire's pretty quiet on this one. Not a musical. I mean, um, Hamilton. Sort of, oh, sorry. Animation. I'm not a big fan of musicals personally. Plus, isn't Ariana Grande the one who uh, licked the donut at the grocery store and put it back? No, I don't think so. Was that her? She did one of those like YouTube TikTok challenges or something. I don't think that was her. I don't know. I have no clue. Yeah. Well, she did date Pete Davidson. That's pretty similar. <laughs> No, nah, that's just a joke. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. that was, I, I couldn't pass up the joke. I like Pete Davidson. Too. I love that's, Pete Davidson. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know. I'm All just... the ladies obviously do. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you nine reasons why. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah, she um, is a donut liquor. According she to is? I didn't yeah. know. I didn't. What a weird thing to know about Aria Grande Voltaire. Like, I found a vial. What, do so, you want to what did she lick? The, I mean, they she obviously didn't leave and put it, it back, and then some unsuspecting person bought it they probably don't. and had her licked. Uh, I mean, it's Ariana Grande. She's lovely, but nobody wants that. Lick donut. No, some uh, people, sorry, go ahead. No, I said maybe some people want her germs on the donut, but you know, that just reminds me of like, oh, uh, I'm like. I, that makes me think every time I go to the grocery store, I don't even think about who touched this. Like, you know, no, like, don't, don't, was, it, was this open right. before? I don't want to think about it. But uh. <laughs> No, don't, because you really enjoy eating out, too. Do not. Do not go down that route, Raya. Like, you yeah, know, you, you can't think about that, Raya. Uh, you Although you go to nice that. places, though. You go to nice places. <laughs> um, okay. So, oh, yeah. Joker 2. Oh, that's, I'm very, I was, I'm so happy it's going to be a musical when Lady Gaga's in it. Amazing. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Deadpool three. If if they said that was gonna be a musical, I'd be about that too. <laughs> that would be I especially since Hugh Jackson did it. He does good that, musicals. He did. He did. He was great in the in the, the show, man. Yeah, he did. Oh wait, this is gonna be a good clip out because this is Bob Iger about. And I have gone on the record to say if there was an investor that had enough funds to do a takeover, I see that's fair game. But he. But they. They they fe they fell short. They didn't succeed. Lots oh, of people was... wanted Iger to be, you know, second fiddle to Nelson Peltz, but it didn't happen. So let's see what he says to say from Variety with the interviewer that Voltaire does not like. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, I forgot. So to Howard. Wait, hold on. He survived. This is Bob Iger surviving the uh, the the coup attempt by Nelson Peltz and anti SGW YouTubers. <laughs> they really were rooting for. Him. Well. Obviously, Nelson Peltz was not successful. How are you feeling about it? <laughs> I'm glad to have that behind us so that I, behind. <laughs> I can focus on the most important things of the company, like tonight, for instance, which is merging great creativity with great technology and offering it to the consumer in new ways. Okay. Yeah, Hulu merging with Disney. Yeah, that is a wait, good answer. Wait, what did you say, Ray? What a great answer. Yeah. That's a good answer. Oh, better than his answer during the strikes. I'll tell you what. Oh my Remember god, I was yeah, those, those oh right? my god, I was that horrific. I gotta, play, I gotta criticize time. Bob Iger's choice of a uh, outfit for a, a red carpet event. That's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, mean, well I mean he lives in Los Angeles, he lives across his <laughs> Oh yeah, strange strange. We need a Doctor Strange special when Deadpool 3 comes out, so you could do all kinds of theories on the MCU. 
I want to have you on for an interview during that. Maybe just be a one one on one, uh, Doctor Strange. Go check out his theories. I tried to comment on your last video, but comments were not allowed on the last video too. So I was checking out your video. I did thumbs it up. Uh, he's getting paid like twenty k a day. Well, see if he brings it around. Yeah, I'm all for the Disney coming back. I'll tell you what that that. Uh, that Tiana ride stuff really got me excited about the parks again. You know, imagine if they do that yeah. with Star Wars. They take that technology for Star Wars too. Yeah, that would be Star crazy. Alien though. creatures that like a be... cantina. Yeah. If they did the animatronics and you walk into those like in Galaxy's Edge, and then they have the creatures that are animatronic like that. Come on. Yeah. Uh, you know, on the uh, the the proxy thing. Look, they tried and they failed. The board didn't. They didn't want to get rid of them, and they looked at the financials. So. You know, that's the way it goes. Yeah. Whatever you feel about what Disney's doing, yeah. the board obviously is comfortable with it. I'm wondering if it's also like the perception of stability. Like if there's so many shifts, you know, kind of like, oh, the public is seeing this, um, uh, are, is the company doing well? So I don't know. Do you think optics is part of it too? For sure. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Because they kind of did that. It's kind of um, like it probably was a bad perception to see the Iger and then um, yeah. the parks guy and then going back to Iger. So I don't know. Yeah. And then Paltz was also making some stupid comments towards the end. He could have just been a little bit more low key, but yeah. Well, it, it, I, I guess it's over for now unless he tries it. Can he try it again? I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure how it works, but probably not for a while at least. Um, This, I actually want to see, I've never seen this movie. Jeez. What is it called? Um, the President. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Villeneuve movie. It's uh, yeah, I love never... it. I find it very dark and depressing, but it oh, is really, yeah. Okay, so it says in Prisoners 2013 for the Hammer scene, Hugh Jackman was asked by Denny Villeneuve to be completely brutal for the next take. Th that take was used in the final film. He went off script to improvise violent scene, which caused Paul Dano to fall to the ground. So this is Hugh Jackman improvising. Uh, let me turn down the volume a little bit, but this is intense. I, I. Yeah, Denny Villeneuve. I was not a believer of Denny Villeneuve before this year. I have, I always believed that he was a good director, but I didn't believe he was like god tier Top director guy. until yeah. Dune Two. Until Dune Two, which uh, who here seen Dune Two? I do. Not yet. Oh, it's so. Did you like Dune One, Raya? Did you see Dune? I haven't seen that one either. <laughs> oh, okay, well. Dune 2 is one of the best movies of all time. Yeah, it'll be on Max soon. We'll watch yeah. both of them. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's... I just want to watch this. Tommy! It's also got uh, Terrence Howard, I believe, is in the back. Yeah, so the, the context is he thinks this guy couldn't abducted his child. This is why Hugh Jackman so Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, pretty pretty uncomfortable um, subject matter, though, for sure. But so the acting the acting in the, the scene is amazing, though. Mm. So I'm interested. Yeah. I'm still interested to see it. I don't. I don't really like to see abduction movies, honestly. But yeah. but the acting ability and, and uh, Paul Dano really good too. Before, but Paul Dano was always around, but he didn't get the roles like he has the last few years. You know. Yeah, I feel like um, years, he's been great. Yeah, I feel like Terrence Howard just standing there kind of is anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the whole thing is that these are two regular guys, Terrence Howard and uh, Hugh Jackman, and their kids are abducted, and they get a hold of a guy because they don't think the cops are doing their job. Mm -hmm. So he's the prisoner. You know what I mean? So it's 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 an interesting concept, but it is dark, man. It is a dark. Okay. Concept. Be yeah. prepared if you want to watch it. That's all you're saying, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, this is good news. The Mummy is returning to theaters for its 25th anniversary. Nice. Um, I love The Mummy. I remember watching. I mean, it's just fun. It's just good fun. And there's Great. always rumors that they were going to do another Mummy movie with Brendan Fraser. I like I would love the third if they one's do even one. fun. The third one has uh, Jet Li in it, right? Mm, I think so. Yeah, that's fun. I would love if they did another one. 
someone posted, I keep thinking the new Talented Mr. Ripley show is actually an alien show about Ellen Ripley. <laughs> oh. The monsters so familiar. I didn't know they, uh, they were doing a Talented Mr. Ripley show on Netflix. I didn't either. Till it's right. already out. Was because Netflix this never marketed this stuff. Before. He looks he he's a good actor that I've seen him, so he could probably play that role pretty good. I'm surprised not many people are talking about it. But because it Netflix is terrible at marketing, that's why. Okay. Well, yeah, they are bad at marketing. I agree with that. Here's a new image from Star Tours. I hear. Oh, so that good. looks like such a vintage, uh, yeah. vintage shirt. <laughs> yeah. I was struggling. I heard, uh, oh, I think I retweeted uh, Mercario Dawson as Ahsoka makes an appearance on the new Star Tours, which Ahsoka is one of my my favorite characters. I think I like her better even live action than animated. God, I would love for um, Darth Maul to be um, at one of the parks so folks can uh, like, may, take, Maybe, take hopefully folks. so. Hopefully. But this is cool. Oh, like it's really cool. I, I gotta I gotta start planning ahead and saving up so I could take my wife, and go to Disney World and Universal and everything. Would you drive there or fly? I'd probably she would prefer to fly because she goes on trips without. I hate flying, uh, but I yeah. I won't drive. Plane. I don't know how you're considering driving to Detroit from um from Pennsylvania. I'm just like. Max, just Southwest is so cheap. Come on. Oh, I, I prepare. <laughs> I get my mix CDs ready. I get all my music. I pump up the jams. I get the get the caffeine. I love it. All right. I'll meet driving. you in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This is weird. This isn't good news. It's like, why did, does this exist? This is so weird. This is a weird escalate. Why? Exercise? What is uh, happening? Isn't that like why? What does it looks this like mean? a lawsuit? Yeah, it does look like a lawsuit. Yeah, this is well, not America. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's your that's your comment out there. Because, well, because Man, well, this is not America. That? This is this is this why is lawsuit this, waiting to What happen? is the benefit of this though? Instead of an regular escalator, I have no idea. That's a novelty, I guess. Doctor Strange is, is, is planning ahead for Deadpool 3. I just went to my employer work website portal and requested a day off for the Deadpool 3 for me. Excellent. Awesome. Good for you. You deserve a day off. This is for J Japan for sure. <laughs> uh, I don't understand. I, I was just confused by this. Like, what's the purpose of it? Oh, this is fun. Um, Macaulay oh, Culkin. Yeah. Which, here's the context of this. Oh, with, with his wife? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the lady and I went to, for her birthday, uh, the Bulos and Cabos. Uh, on her, her, our first day, we went to the gift shop, and I found the shirt. Since now I looked like the staff, I decided to spend my four days there masquerading as a poolside waiter, housekeeper, cabana <laughs> boy, room service attendant, bellhop. Uh, he does Brenda's look song like it, literally yeah. has not aged since uh, "Sweet Life of Zach and Cody." I don't know. Um, I don't even know who she is. Uh, his Brenda's wife. Song? His yeah. wife. That's his wife. Yeah. 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 That's they, that's they cool. I'm, I'm glad each other, to see yeah. Macaulay Culkin doing good because you know those those his child bro stars. His brother. He, he he just got a, a Hollywood star in the Walk of Fame. So yeah, but yeah. to be honest though, it's been harder for Macaulay because he was a super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come his, on, his, Home yeah, Alone yeah. was one of the biggest movies, kid movies of all time. You know. Mm -hmm. I love seeing him on Red Letter Media. Oh, he is. I didn't yeah, he's been on there a few times. Also, um, his brother is doing huge right now in Hollywood. Oh, this is also this. Look, there's all this park stuff. Look at this, duck droids. I would love My real to ducks. One of these. Honestly, they need things like this because, like, I never really, you know, make time to go to uh, Galaxy's Edge. I'm just like, oh, it's there, but I'd rather oh, you go to really you know. Visited yet the Galaxy Edge part? Because there's not much, you know, yeah. to really lure me a big in. Mall. Yeah. Well, what if they have stuff like this, or if they bring that animatronic technology for Tiana also to Galaxy's Edge, that could be next level, you know? Like, this is great. And there's real ducks, too, by the duck droids. The only thing that's bad is that the people have to stand there to the side that you know are obviously you're using the controls. 
Unless, unless that's maybe I'm maybe I'm reading this wrong. Maybe they're not Imagineers, and those, those are no. Well, no they're holding Imagine. remote controls. <laughs> now, next level would be you give that to the the patrons to try. Yeah, I mean, I, I probably it, right? it'll probably be um, in the future. They'll probably have a tech where well, you could it, just. Am I reading yeah, this wrong? It's not just the show that they're going to show. Hey, this is how you control the duck droids, and then you let people coming up control them. No, nah, they no no no. They probably break them if they control them. Well, not if you're under supervision. Yeah, I, I wouldn't trust nobody. No, I would no, have had not. had them off screen <laughs> at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> unless, unless you're you're like teaching the audience that, like, you know. Uh, okay. Another Game of Thrones spinoff. Is this a good news or the? I, no, I, this, is, this is good news. Is um, it's that's um, it's um, I forgot what is it. Peter yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's a century yes yeah, a century beef um before the events of Game of Thrones. Duncan Egg and the Game of Thrones spinoff, A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, the Hedge Knight. All I know for sure is I'm so ready for um House, House of Dragon. Dragon to return yeah. for sure. So this this takes place a century before Games of Thrones. Yeah. So what is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll have a piece of cheesecake. Thank you. Yeah, no, everybody needs gonna... a lady to bring them cheesecake. That's a good woman. <laughs> yes, yes, she is. Uh, I'm all I'm all about this. Actually, I I know people were, you know, I liked Rings of Power. I think Rhea was watching it then. I enjoy. I didn't think it was the most amazing <laughs> thing ever, but I've heard great things about the second series, second season. They said it's one of the biggest. I think there's a one of the biggest battle sequences ever filmed, or something. From the, something I heard about the second season, yeah, I kind of expected the first one to the first season to kind of be the um, uh, the not a test run, but the, all the feedback that they've gotten, um, it seems like they've had enough time to you know really you know listen to it and you know improve from there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I'm I'm really looking forward to that and this. I I love fantasy. I you know I'm really look really happy and. It, definitely fallout 2 is not so it's not similar but there's so much there's so many options right now uh so that's good news i guess uh here's another close-up of the animatronic this is just really cool i won't play the whole thing here but no this these obviously look like imagineers working with the, the technology they're happy Jeez. Yeah, they're working with the technology. What's the future going to be like? What's 20 years going to be like with people? Oh, it's going to be like robots? her. People are going to have robot dolls in their house. Wow. I mean, I'm not going to be funny or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm sure no, it's going to happen think... sooner than 20 years. Yeah, yeah. Robot right. I think it's, I think it's reality AI. You know, I actually saw a video last night. I forgot to bring it up. Mm -hmm. I don't have it prepared. But there's this new AI. Um, that takes like blurry things and makes them like hyper real. And there's a video of them doing the really old school Tomb Raider from PS1 era and using this new program going over Laura Croft and make her look real just with like an A, just an a new AI program. Mm. Uh, let me, oh man, if I could find that, you'd be amazed. Uh, let me see if I could find it on YouTube. Oh, you just reminded me um, to check out the. Um, the remaster of the first three games. I think it came to Switch. I forgot that it came out, though. That would be, if I was still collecting physical media for the Switch, that would be one I would get. Because, uh, you know, who knows? Lara Croft, AI Shader. Oh, see. I think people are uh, lamenting the eShop going down uh, as far as, like, online play. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, it came out weird. Oh, it's still gonna be good. I can't find it right now. I'm sorry, everyone. But there's oh, a, is there's... it homemade? No, it's a no, it's a, a big company. They charge money for this AI tool. No, she's talking about the cheesecake. <laughs> oh no, it's not homemade. No, it's, it's 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 it was a frozen cheesecake. It's not like it's not like cheesecake factory or anything. Big cheesecake. Mm. Be nice. My wife, have you ever had cheesecake factory cheesecake? That's like the one thing that's good at that restaurant. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I like everything else too. But we usually go there, get her a slice. 
it's hit or miss, but yeah, the cheesecake is is on fire is fire. Um, Southwest uh, egg rolls aren't bad either. I like Cheesecake Factory. I like will, if I had to pick, oh sorry, go ahead. I will say Texas State Brazil though, up the ante, and I was against that, and I got outnumbered by Rhea and my wife. They're like, no, Texas State Brazil. I wanted to go to the melting pot. And I mean, if I had to what? pick between PF Chang's and uh, Cheesecake Factory. I'd probably go to Cheesecake. Factory. I know. I want. I'm gonna Ooh. take you. She has a coupon for twenty bucks off for her birthday, so I gotta take her to Texas State Brazil again. Their salad bar is amazing. And I figured out the trick is I was filling up on the 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 frequent meats when you have to hold out for the good stuff. Don't be afraid to say no. And they 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 treated I I'm actually I felt disrespected because they did not abide by my red light green light just because I'm a big man. Oh, it's a Brazilian kept, barbecue. Yes, steakhouse. Yeah. Brazilian steakhouse. They kept bringing me meat when I had the red light, and I was waiting. Oh, to turn that was green. me. <laughs> Uh, we were doing red light green light. yeah she never she never did red she did green <laughs> all the way <laughs> basically yeah Talia you're Talia doesn't know what we're talking about I don't think no they, they bring you they bring you fresh um like it's a restaurant meat. you put a you put a thing on your table either green or red you flip it and if it's green they're just constantly walking around with different meats to each table and yeah, you can cut you off a nice fresh that. sliver of like freshly roasted meat. Oh, okay, <laughs> no, uh, that's There's a great a... date night for me. If like, um, if if uh, you can handle each other, just like going to town on like some meats and you know bread and mashed potatoes, yeah. like you know you've already broken that barrier of like trying to like you know impress impress them or not come off gross or anything. <laughs> I I like the. I'm even more impressed by the one of the best salad bars I've ever been to. Because there's salad a, bars are not what they used to be. There's a place over here stop, called Fogo de Chow. Can we stop, can we stop talking about food? Because you're gonna make me hungry. Oh, again. that's right. I'm sorry. I forgot. What, I forgot. What, oh yeah, sorry. Ramadan. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Talani. I forgot why. I'm like, hey, I got food. Never mind. Changing subject. <laughs> My bad, Talani. I'm so sorry. So this is Invincible, which I haven't watched yet. And they were saying that this is alluding to Batman. Oh yeah, in the comics, um, Batman, Batman makes a uh, his cape make a appearance, a little bit of appearance, yeah. And then, and then, um, you know, the creator of the show came out and said, "Well, that's not Batman; it's a different." Name. Well, we know it's Batman, bro. Just that, just that line, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, uh, in in Invincible. There's like a Batman cameo, but it's not really Batman. I don't know. I didn't see the context of the show. So you have to watch, you have to watch the first two seasons to understand. Yeah, but... I didn't watch the other seasons. Yeah, you have to. But it's it's, just good, it's very show. good. I'm waiting for the, uh, the first season? current season to build up. I don't like I don't going to remember on these shows. No, the whole season is done. Is eight episodes is already done. The second part of the second season is done. Yeah. Yeah. So it, um, yeah. Oh, okay, I'll start watching. I don't remember. I have problem remember. You know this. Damn. Right this game, <laughs> okay, so here's 90s. Oh, this is Kelly. Terrific. Kelly. It's missing the um uh, Little Caesars. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's also it's also missing um WB Kids. Kelly, um, come over here. Yeah, I love those AOL, AOL you can keep the the AOL. I don't yes. need the AOL. And Power Rangers. Kelly, and... Kelly, come here. Yeah. Come here. Ninja Turtles. Um, N64. Uh, I would, you know, N64 was fun. I would probably do Super NES. Though. This is not a bad starter pack. Not Box bad. Kids. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, let me see what else. Uh, oh, this, why is this a thing? Oh, the cake, the fake cake, the cake things? The, yeah. The fake cake the art of it. it has nothing to do with the cake itself. It's just, it's artistic. Is this, is this altered, though? Is this, is, this is, re some of this stuff looks real. No, it's, it's, it's well, true. Cakes. It's true. These it's are true. all cakes. These are all cakes. Yes, yeah, they're all cakes, yeah. I'm impressed with how, how they do it. Yeah, it's impressive. Oh, wow. The cake, Even the shoe yeah. looks fake to me, but the everything else look. No, those are Yeah, you can make cake shoes. Cake shoes, cake drinks. I just throw the margarita. That's, That's from Perp's Lester, cake. <laughs> These are Pep's cake. Pennywise. Oh, my goodness. 
I'm like uh, mixed cool. feelings. Wow. Mixed it's feelings. like these are these are works of art, and they're being defaced. I don't know how to feel. Yeah. I mean, we get these for an event, I guess. House of Dragon, Iron Man. Damn. Hulk. Okay, that's enough for that. Oh, I'm Crap. sorry, Talati again. Darn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not sorry. my it's not my fault that I retweet too much food. Uh, Bob Marley and Rita Marley Wedding Day, 1966. I've never seen this uh, this era of Bob Marley. That's cool. Yeah, it's um, very uh, fun. Have you seen his biopic uh, movie? No, I, I actually do want to see it because I said it didn't look good. I wasn't that impressed. I it didn't look bad, but I was just like, yeah, I think it should be. I don't know. Yeah, generic it should be on a stream. Music biopics. I'm just like, eh. Yeah. But it, it got really good box office. Yeah. I like good. Bob Marley songs, so I, I might watch it. I'll probably Isaac, it probably is an uh, animated uh, superhero show on Amazon Prime with like, yeah, it's very interesting if you, you should check it out. Here's a here's I saw a, this video. This is very interesting. A Bugatti? Yeah, billionaires can wear whatever they want is what it says. This is power. Look at his car. I Look. thought that was um behind the scenes footage of Penguin. <laughs> behind the scenes footage of what? <laughs> of Penguin. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> At least he's actually a penguin. Well, I mean, but if it were, are you this rich that you would be comfortable wearing this in public, Voltaire? Ever this outfit? So he's a different kind of rich, right? To drive that car, you're a different <laughs> kind of rich. This is a guy, like you know, he's a guy. Nobody's told him, "Hey, you're an idiot," or "Hey, you look stupid." He's he's too rich and powerful for too long. He's never like you know if you started wearing cowboy boots, See, Max, I've, you'd have I've a seen going, this outfit. Stop wearing too. cowboy boots. They're not for you. I've this guy's never it. had anyone tell him that. I've seen this outfit two places. This guy, he's a billionaire going out of car, and then like three in the morning at Walmart in the middle of the night. You know. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, Those shoes he's wearing are probably thousand dollar shoes. That's a Lacoste shirt, and God only uh, knows what the shorts are. Jeez. Okay. Well. Uh oh. This is the case. Did you? I don't know if you were here for this part, Ray. This is this. Everyone, everyone's been so focused on this dog, the corn sweats, very underwhelming, non non heroic dog. I like mm, think the dog's he, cute. His, his dog, this does I mean, not look like Superman's dog yours. to me. This does not look like Superman's dog. His to me. But the cape yours. is being revealed in the background. Isn't that the cape? Doesn't that look like the cape to you? How about we talk about this? I know, but Rayo wasn't. The oh, Superman's yeah, yeah, yeah. cape. Lady and the Tramp sequel confirmed. There you oh, go. that would be good. <laughs> yeah, that that's a good role for you. I think the dog's name's Ira, but not Superman's dog. Max, Superman's did you ever do that, that Lady and the Tramp? I need to ask. This, I need to ask. I need to ask this to Rayo. What do you think? It is? is it a cape? Is it a curtain? Or is it a dress? Ooh. Um. I, it looks like a curtain. Kurt, you yes. think it's just a curtain? Yes. Uh, I think it's I think it's the reveal, the Superman cape. I think James Gunn's directing Rachel Brosnan. Yeah, you could show the cape in the background, and people will be focused on the dog. Uh, I think the I think the way it's even framed. I don't even think this is Rachel. I'm going conspiracy theory. I don't even think Rachel Brosnan took this picture by herself on her phone. I think James Gunn was directing it. So we're gonna focus. On Corn Sweat's dog, oh, yeah. but in the background, it's going to be the reveal. Yeah, no, okay, okay. Hey, this go. is this is one of like nine pictures, and then James Gunn picked the one he wanted. This was on purpose. Mm -hmm. James Cameron says Dune Two is pure cinema. He's right. It's not. Yeah, he's right. He's uh, one the goat for the reason. Oh, here is. Uh, I'm very happy for all all of the uh, Rebel Moon cast. Oh, yeah, it's his birthday. Gonna... Yeah, happy birthday. Look at the outfit that gentleman is wearing. Gosh, that takes something to wear that. What? It's a, good, it's a good look. I said it's, it's great. It's fashion, bro. That's what it, it takes is. Something, it takes something. Only certain men can wear something like that, and he's one of them. Jeez. It's fashion. I want to see Ray. Ray Fisher's got some good style. He was on to the left. I believe on the left uh, of the stage. Left, uh, they look really happy. So... Look at that crowd. God, I'd be yeah. happy too if I went to an exclusive uh, premiere. Yeah, yeah. He's in New York City. Look at Ray here. He is in New York City. There's Ray Fisher. Look, man, he's I like yeah, Ray. Uh, he's styling and profiling. I don't know who this is. Oh, I have no idea. Is she in the mo movie? Yeah, I think she's. Yeah, I think she's in the market. I forgot the actress name. I think this is the one um, Cole from um, uh, uh, Nerd Queens went to. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. This was in New York. And 
Skywalker uh, went to the event too, so I do know Skywalker went to there. Oh, I'm, I'm very happy for. Uh, I think Max, your mic is uh, janky. Yeah, oh, yeah it is. I'm is. sorry. Uh, I mean, we could keep going. I'm just kind of surprised at how many viewers X loves me right now. Almost 300. Wow. X. Oh, you X viewers, please. You, you love the show. Please comment for us for us here to let us know you're there. Tell Call me on YouTube. YouTube. So I'm <laughs> like, should I keep going? We're, we're uh, our panels here. Very entertaining to the, all these Xers. You know, Elon Musk is going to show up pretty soon. I've heard. I wish. Move <laughs> my cyber truck. Move me up on the reservation list, Elon. Please. <laughs> I know. I Volta will fall back to sleep again. Oh. No, no, not for a cyber truck. I'll stay. Yes, you, Brea, you haven't been. You've been busy. Voltaire unfortunately fell on the street. We're all disappointed in him. Shameful. Shameful. It was very embarrassing. He fell. He fell asleep. He fell asleep. He, he, asleep, fell asleep, he, fell asleep he couldn't do the. He couldn't do the outro. Yeah, it can't. I had to do the. I to let everybody it. down. Yeah. <laughs> he was um, like. Also, he's he is actually getting a cyber. Are you on board with the Elon Musk? Like the 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 um. The, the cyber trucks and all that, the self-driving vehicles and all the yes, because I'm you a are. horrible driver. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, so am I. Everybody you, is you, compared you to not self-driving, by the way. Um, but Teslas, you know, are, do you like that? Uh, you like okay. I don't know, you, like the whole um, story behind them being recently in the in the news for some reason, but yeah, mm -hmm. I was I'm a big fan of them without knowing that context. <laughs> Well, the one thing that I really, and I retweeted this a few days ago, that Elon's really done right. And I keep giving all kind of props to Elon because on, on X right now, we're almost up to 300 viewers. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, is because of that that brain chip. Um, whatever. It's, I forget what that's called. Do you know Voltaire? What the, Sorry, that what? The, they're, they're putting these chips in where people could control stuff with their mind. Oh, the Neuralink stuff. The Neuralink. Yeah, I'm not doing is. that shit. No, you no I, that I don't want to personally do it, but if you Look really it, if you have Alzheimer's someone, or if you have some kind of uh, someone that's apparently paralyzed. They had a paralyzed them. person playing like Mario Kart. Did you see uh, that, Raya? No, that's I amazing. didn't. That's um, awesome. And they were having really so cool. much fun. I'm like, then you really start to look at technology and be like, yeah, this is cool. And if this, if someone, I'm not saying people that are paralyzed or, or, or un, uh, unable to do things need to have that, but if they want to and they want to experience that and they want to get the neural link, that's awesome. Yeah, more that's options cool. for accessibility. For yeah. Sure. So I was really happy to see that. I was like, you know, I, I, I wasn't really thinking about that, but that has a lot of options for for people that want to do things and they can't at this time, unfortunately. But that's that's really cool. Me personally, I don't think I will be getting a neural link unless you know. I mean, I, I don't even want to get like laser eye surgery or anything like that personally. But I don't know if I want anything in my head. Uh, okay, here's the Star Tours with Ahsoka. I almost thought that was um, an Imagineer animatronic. <laughs> yeah. So Rosario Dawson, a huge Rosario Dawson fan. She is now in Star Tours. That's awesome. Thank you, John Star Tours. Appreciate the help. Appreciate the help. Oh, so, yeah, the display things. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Oh, I was going to share this with Perp. This is just an interesting cut scene. Um, I don't know, guys. Should we keep going with all the – should we see if we get over 300 just on X? Mm. Or, or should we wind it down? We're going to two and a half hours. Almost, it's almost about to be two. I'm up if you're up. Okay. It's almost it's almost uh, seven o'clock in the morning here for me. Okay. I don't know if y'all. Uh, speaking of X, um, yeah, the third movie in the X trilogy from A24, um, Maxine, Maxine. With yeah, yeah, I'm really excited to see the trailer. Cool. So you've watched both movies. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, Pearl uh, is my I, favorite out of those. I haven't, but now that I know their length and just um, the images of her and Halsey. Uh, look really interesting and I'm like uh, I'm going to give this a shot so I might go back and watch the other movies and then give Maxine a chance the only hesita hesitation I have is the stories about the set and how she treated but I don't know if that's proven or you know I don't want to if she's not actually found in the 
court of law guilty for doing something against the uh, he's a hundred and five pound woman. How hard could she have beat up? Well, I, mean, I don't want to endorse the bad behavior, the, but yeah, it we, doesn't matter. We how forgave it, uh, Christian Bale and Tom Cruise. So. There you go. Yeah. No, and honestly, I don't. I honestly don't have enough facts to know. And it's kind of that 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 whole story has kind of gone away. So I don't know. So I'm just I'm trying not to think about it and just con concentrate on the content. And hopefully that's not true, or if, if it is, doesn't happen again. Um, because I mean, Voltaire has the line too with uh, with Will Smith. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go watch a Will Smith movie, but I respect people that are not. They're not gonna. They're not having it after no, the Oscar Smith. stuff. No. So I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted. Unless something else comes up, I'll again him. But. Yeah, I get it. But for me, it's just he committed a crime on on in front of everybody on live TV. That's the end of it for me. Okay. And why is Jonathan Major is blacklisted, but not this guy? Yeah, that's true. That's a good That's, point. Yeah, and jo Jonathan Majors was, was a very nuanced situation. I thought you did a great job covering that Voltaire too. We really love it when you do when you uh, bring in your personal experience, you know, your work experience to help us understand that it's a lot more nuanced. And he was really not treated good in the press. No, um, but mm, it was a, a it, it was a messed up situation for sure. A lister compared to a B lister. That's well, that shouldn't be. It should be, it should be the same for everyone, really. Though. Congrats yeah, but that's not how Hollywood. View, that's not how Hollywood views. Yeah, Matt. Congrats. Well, we're we're up to we're up to two ninety two. We got thirteen viewers on YouTube and two hundred ninety two on X. <laughs> Thank you, Xers. Okay, uh, but this is a great artwork for Ahsoka. Ahsoka uh, the White, like you know, Gandalf the White. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, from in in, in the Rebels. Uh, name a canceled TV show that deserves another season. My Hunter, the, the one that's in the prison. Yeah. Yeah, Mine Hunters. Yeah. Like um, fucking Netflix. Whoa. Hate them. <laughs> um, there's lots of shows that I wish got. That, that would, this one should have um, got one more season. Oh, at least unfortunately, two, the or, new Quantum Leap is now canceled. I have to tell Joe. Uh, he's he was he's raving probably, about he, that he, show. He, yeah, he's probably pissed Scott Bakula. Did not come back to Quantum Leap, and now it's canceled. Oh. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, American Gothic doesn't that? I thought that still was going. Mine too. My my hunter should get a movie. They should do it if they cannot do another season, do a movie. Mm -hmm. Like it's that simple. No, if people get the neural link and they become like Xavier, that's not cool. Like I don't want. <laughs> Wait, what's that stuff. reference? Oh, right. Exactly. Uh, Professor X. Got yeah, if they could start going to other people's minds with it. What if the neural link in AI that now I'm now I'm scared. Now you can make a horror movie out of that. The neural link in AI can they take over you. Oh, boy. Voltaire, are you opposed to the neural link? Again, if, you know, um, people with Alzheimer's, people with, you know, crippling diseases and stuff, the neural link will help them. Yes, remember, but I mean, you would you get one for like, say, recreational, whatever, or or if it enhances your job and your your abilities and your regular day job. I would have to see that what it would do for me to be able, you know, that's like that pill in that movie. What's that? Uh, would you unlimited? be concerned <laughs> at all if with the combination of neural link input in your mind, in your brain, and then also AI too? If, if if that becomes a factor, would you be more concerned? Um. Yes, that sounds concerning. Yeah. When you put it that way, oh, <laughs> yeah. those are two technologies that are burgeoning right now. Mm -hmm. And if you think about putting something in your mind to help control it, are they using AI? You know, script? Yeah. I have no idea. So that's kind of concerning. I don't know. Getting, I, I'm always I've getting always, to a point where science fiction movies are, you know, our reality. We didn't get the, we didn't get the flying cars and the hoverboards, but we're getting some other stuff. The the stuff that's look, I I always embrace technology. I, the stuff that's going to come out with AI in the next 10, 15 years is is going to be amazing, and you know, um, I'm looking forward to it, and I hope that I get to. But I, I am really happy that people that want to do things, it's going to give them a chance. But I do. I am concerned at the same point. Uh, what about you, Anthony? You getting a neural link? Hell no, never. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yes, Mindhunters was a great show. Uh, let me see here. This was a real ad from The Sims back in the day. 
They used to have more. Really? Know, more, yes. Wow. <laughs> to add, what do you do? Scream, divorce, punch, cry, join. <laughs> Look at the guy smiling. He's not too unhappy. He's like, eh, oh, well, these things happen. The ads, the ads were pretty intense back then. I was like, yeah, those ads was, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I missed the um the main topics uh, earlier. Sorry, oh. I know you've been on for like almost three hours. Uh, basically, yeah. James James Gunn, I, have you heard about the rumors about Ultraman being a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. legacy? Yeah, uh, Brad and um, William covered it a lot. Yeah, well, James Gunn, of course, I love James Gunn, but he loves talking on social media. So he said in a sarcastic way to kind of, cuz he, he you know you know James Gunn's not a fan of scoopers and leakers right it's pretty obvious so he sarcastically say big surprise superman's the main hero in superman lex luthor is the main villain in superman legacy shocking and then at the end he left it uh and why would you want to know this stuff anyway don't you want to enjoy the movie or you know um so i said he didn't really debunk that the Ultraman version of Superman is in the movie. He just debunked that it's the main villain. I said, what is James Gunn really saying here? Because a lot, I, I say both people, people on both sides are the worst. The ones that hundred percent believe scoopers and the ones that hundred percent think scoopers are all full of it and debunked. I say it's more in the middle 50, 50. And uh, I said, what is he really doing there? He's not saying, no, he still might not be in the movie. But he's not really saying that this version of Superman is not in the movie. He's just saying he's not the main villain. And I, I think James Gunn cherry picked one scooper because he's not a fan of scoopers because he could debunk something about that scooper's quote, whereas he, he didn't use other scoopers. Now, Perp says he picked that quote from that scooper because that's one of the most popular scoopers. And I'm like, no, it's because he could kind of make that scooper look stupid. And he cherry picked it. But I don't think he's telling the whole truth there. I think there is a big possibility that this Ultraman version of Superman is in Superman Legacy. But, I still think but, I think it's still 50-50, but, but yeah. But, but Max, you know, if he does bring Ultraman to the big screen, you know people are going to compare it to Superman for a quest for peace. You know that. Yeah, of course. And uh, just just like when James, bon James Gunn was very um, hostile towards the Middle East Mm -hmm. leaks about superman legacy he's like there's no terrorists in there he picked that quote because it's a fictional middle east country apparently in superman legacy but it doesn't focus on the terrorism part or that's changed so he pick, he picks certain things he could debunk um that's just my opinion but i still love him i still root for him i still want the movie to be really good i just would i would just would prefer uh well, from what his quote, the one thing that I did enjoy about that quote is he's saying that Lex is the main villain. I enjoy that. But if they're going to do another villain, I would prefer like Brainiac or Darkseid or something then. I mean, did you know why? I think I know why he didn't pick Brainiac. Hmm. It's basically because of the failure of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Hmm. Well, maybe. What were you going to say, Ray? Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Taladia. No, no, you go first and I'll go after. Yeah, um, I was just going to say, I think, um, one, uh, we don't talk about any of the other discourse that Gunn that may have um, with positive, you know, um, uh, engagement as far as like, like questions about what is actually happening. Mm -hmm. I think uh, part of it is we get these reports about the, you know, the the topics or like, you know, the information about who's being featured in the film and kind of, you know, we, you know, look at it in, in like, you know, a magnifying glass trying to, you know, decode it. Um, and I think my point is uh, leading into why I personally may perceive why Gunn is doing that is because he, you may have mentioned this already, um, the debunking of disinformation is probably like the biggest, you know, goal because i think that he is acknowledging that this disinformation is now being covered by media outlets that are you know going to be influential in how the public perceives the actual product once it's ready to be presented with more you know images well, more you know con like 
context as far as like what to expect or yeah. some things to be excited about. So I think like, yeah, like again, I, I do see it more as like, it's not so much, you know, disingenuous sort of like, you know, trolling or anything like that, um, just to, you know, uh, provoke the, the, the counter fan base. I think he, like he's thinking forward as far as like, yeah, this is impacting, you know, the long-term, you know, perception of the product and it's going to hinder it, its success potentially because there's so many like negative things being talked about it constantly leading up to its release. So yeah, like if I had to, you know, think about uh, his intention there, I would probably lean more towards, you know, that. Okay. And maybe I would like to get your response on this too, Rhea, that maybe Perp had a point. His point was that maybe the people believe this stuff. And then when it's not in the movie, that results in a bad customer, uh, customer dissatisfaction when some of the stuff isn't true or, you know, that leads that some, some of these things, it, it frames the movie in a certain way. People expectations change and then they be this could potentially be disgruntled customers based on what they heard and what's in the actual movie. Yeah. Like to your point, um, like, Take for instance, That's when the point, though. Yeah. take for instance when the Suicide Squad was, you know, um, was the film that Gunn pivoted to when he had this whole blow up at Marvel, and uh, we followed that film throughout its production, having like you know that context of Gunn potentially, you know, going forward with DC after, um, like he finishes up his work with Marvel. And uh, my point is that I'm like picking like you know. Yeah um like kind of like aligning circumstances for that where we got you know cast and uh character um releases as far as like information on who to expect and then i guess some people felt like they got the rug pulled up out from under them because they may have expected you know more from those characters or actors that were present so i think this is kind of similar because we're getting so many characters and actors announced and yeah, Max, to your point, there might be, um, you know, some expectations from fans where they're excited for some characters. They're, you know, wondering, you know, why certain characters are included. And um, ultimately, like, you know, it'll probably be a completely different product um, when it comes out. So, yeah, like, I feel like it might be kind of a lose lose situation. And Gunn is probably, you know, acknowledging that and doing his best to kind of, you know, uh, steer the ship in, you know, uh, a positive direction as much as possible. But I'm not sure how how to take, you know, his discourse with with fans. Maybe he knows that it's kind of cryptic, um, and there might be, you know, some intention there to still, you know, provoke interest, I guess, or more discussion around it leading up to the film coming out. But yeah, that's kind of my long winded, you know, um, interpretation of what's going on. All right, cool, cool. Sorry, I had to take I had to take Callie. And put she kept working. Um, I will want to say uh, we reached the milestone. We're over 300 viewers on X right now. So thank you all Xers. I don't know what this means for the channel. I have no idea. It's kind of cool. Uh, I just wish I could see your comments. Uh, that's the only frustration for me. Um, but I'm happy you're watching the show. And shout out to the 13 YouTube viewers that are still watching there. <laughs> Thank you so much. And, uh, Jade. and Jade, member 18 months. Thank you, Jade. A good friend. Thank you, Jade. Thank you, Jade. So we could keep going for a little bit, but I, I, I'm pretty happy to get over 300. I don't think I'm going to keep this going like 12 hours Obviously. or anything just because we no. have a lot of viewers. But we'll, no. we'll, do, we'll do a little bit more, maybe do a few mailbag questions. I don't want to keep everyone here on their Friday night. Well, I think Teladio is um, uh, going to uh, have a point that he was okay, going to go finish ahead, on the topic. So... I was going to say, you know, the whole thing with, uh, you know, the whole thing with them not using Brainiac was basically because I believe this, I truly believe because of the IP itself failing on on the other media side of it. So like video game terms. So that if you think about it, Suicide Squad Killer Justice League just recently came out and it flopped big time. And now they're backtracking everything and all these different things. And the season is... Like, they're, they're trying to push the Justice League to be revived and all of this stuff. And I think what James Gunn probably saw is that, look, Brainiac didn't succeed in the video game world. How will it succeed in the movie world? 
So that's that's my interpretation of it. Because yeah. cause remember, James Gunn is the head of DC. So he's going to take a look at every individual IP and see what's, what's trending and what's not trending, what's making money, what's not making money. So he's going to take a look at it like that perspective. Okay. I wish that wasn't the case to be like, you know, so reactive because um, having seen like his work with Marvel, um, most of the time they kind of stay the course on, you know, um, you know the, the plan as far as like projects coming out, whether or not certain ones succeed. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, like to your point, Taladia, like we know DC has been reactive <laughs> um, to every Very like reactive. new pro to if a one project, you know, like, you know, fails they'll change you know the whole direction of the company based off of that which sucks so yep. yeah that's why they're, that's why they're failing upwards as as Sir christopher lee would say um well let's do a little bit more twitter and then i have a few mailbag questions not too many i just want to uh, comment on this picture here it's pretty amazing this is a product of paul rudd hasn't had a piece of bread in five six years probably you really think that's 100 percent. he's got he's got keto face is look how Look how thin his face is out. That's a little bit of Botox. Yeah. Look at look at that. He colors his hair. I'm not taking anything away from him. It's hard work. Don't get me wrong. But those are the that those are the key differences right there. Yeah, Voltaire. To your point, um, looking back at like other streams that I've done where um, I would my face was like really cal like you know. Um, yeah, I had keto face and I'm just like, oh gosh, like, you know, uh, I don't know how to feel about oh, that. About um, so Jeez, I'm trying to incorporate, you know, some, some cycling of like, okay, um, you know, low carb during some days. And then I'm like, okay, weekends, you know, I can have a couple days of, you know, treat yourself days. And so like, I feel like I'm getting to like, like to your point, like where I don't want to look like, you know, unhealthy or it doesn't like look that. unhealthy. I didn't mean it as a, it wasn't a negative in my mind. Oh, apologies. <laughs> like um, when you, when you mentioned keto face, I'm I I flashed back that to you know like positive. oh yeah I, yeah, I had that positive. back in the day. He, no, he, when you see that thinness around the jawline and the neck, this is a well, good Voltaire, thing. You're, 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 you're keto friendly too, right? Yeah, I just ate a pint of a Rebel ice cream. Everybody, it's an amazing keto. <laughs> thing. Really it's nice. I like Halo Top. <laughs> oh, maybe I should give it another shot. I don't know. Um. Okay, but that I love Will for Brimley too. But uh, man, Paul Rudd is a he really doesn't age. Him and Jennifer Connelly, they look like exactly like they did in the eighties. Well, there's certainly some had, genetic component, you know. Yeah, if I had hundreds of, or tens of millions of dollars, you know, I would probably oh, no. be happy and smile. But he like didn't that. have that till now. He in the, he had small roles in the eighties and nineties until now. Botox is about a thousand dollars every three four months. That's it. Oh, I'm so and hyped for. I'm I'm really starting to really like the Acolyte, uh, the trailer where we watched it a few times. I'm so hyped for it. You know, Carrie Ann Moss. I loved her in the Matrix. She looks good. She yeah. looks good. This is a new em image from Empire Magazine. Uh, I think people. I think it's going to be one of the most watched Star Wars shows. I think people are just like to complain, and even if they are complainers, we all know about social media and YouTubers. Hate watchers are the best watchers. They watch everything. You know, they're going to watch this show. I think they watch out of context clips and then react to it. Oh, really? But not again. I, I don't want to judge too harshly because I understand, you know, their job. But but yeah, I think part of it is that. Sorry, Anthony. OK. Well, I I think they're going to watch it. Alec Axel. Is this your drawings, Axel? He would like to see the X-Men team up with Avengers and Earth Mightiest Heroes. Oh, yeah. Like yeah that was a like old Disney animated movie. Yeah. Ultraman being a clone, the main being made by Lex Luthor, sounds familiar. No. <laughs> I mean, they're not. I mean, they're not too far off base, but I, I can see what they're saying. Here's a look at the Queen of Hearts and Disney Descendants: The Rise of Red. I thought they were done with this once. The ones the actor passed away. Okay, never mind. Well, that was one. That was one actor. If you know. I don't know. I don't want everyone to lose their job. I mean, it's very sad a young actor did pass away in this production, but... Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Mike yeah. Strange says, Michael Douglas and Scarlett Johansson are distantly related by grandmother. I don't... I didn't know that. Uh, okay. Uh, I was shocked to learn uh, recently that Nicolas Cage and... Um, uh, Francis Corpo, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's yeah. Been going on for a long time. Well, it's it's like very, it's like, 
the the fun the funny thing about that is mm-hmm. like Francis Ford Co- Coppola is very like almost like pretentiously artistic, whereas Nicolas Cage is in everything. <laughs> That's what's so funny about the difference. Of, yeah, of, he's leaning into his um his i uh his yeah, current dude, identity. I love Nicolas Cage. Yeah, he I, he's still a great actor. I think he's still got some great roles left in him. Oh, for sure. I mean, I think the Coppola next movies this year. But here's oh. the here's the image for the Maxine, and that's Halsey on the right. I couldn't think of her name. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's just barely a horror movie. Max. Oh, we. Oh, I'm sorry. Get it off Claudia. the screen. I, I got at least cover this. I got at least cover this. You might not even like it because this is only in Canada. This is for CGH, and I'll 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 be done on uh, Twitter. I forgot that this menu is only available in Canada. It's got. Let me see here. Fish and oh, Max, this have you done real. food reactions? Oh my gosh, I would totally like watch you like trying out weird um, fast food mm-hmm. items. And oh stuff. really? Like promotional items F and stuff. F, chicken cheeseburger. Sweet. Would chicken you chicken. Would you try any of this? Not the surf and turf, but everything else yeah. looks fine. Looks oh, delicious. my family loves the um, the fillet sandwiches, and I'm just like, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. I. Arby's and other, they have much better fish fillet sandwiches, but I would try that, those surf and turf burger. Fish that and looks cheese. Like a, that looks like a double quarter pounder with some fish on it. Sweet Chili Junior Chicken. I don't know what's remixed about that. Maybe because it's on chicken nuggets, the sweet chili sauce. Mm-hmm. Oh, chicken surf and turf. Beef. It's um, beef patties on a, a fillet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, chicken cheeseburger. That's, that's nasty. Apple pie McFlurry. Yeah, I'm all about that. that. That's hot yeah. apple pie and ice cream. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. I mean, I don't know about the McFlurry one. Stuff. Okay. <laughs> all right. So that's good news of Twitter. You hear all that Xers? There's good news on there. 321 viewers. Um, I wish I could I capitalize think... on this. I have no idea Dude. how. <laughs> I tried to drop the link, but um, I don't, I don't think you can click on it over there. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, well, thank you for it. thank you for watching. So on MME, uh, we do like to answer some members' mailbag questions, which we really appreciate. All you members leaving topics, topics and questions, and on the community section of my channel that has thirteen viewers. Uh, let me bring this up here. And we we love and appreciate each and every one of you. Yes, especially Jacob McKenzie bringing in the <laughs> dropping the heat with all these all these. Well, yeah. Uh, okay, let me bring this up here. I don't have too many left from the so, other just, night. Just back to the Coppola and Nicolas Cage connection. So Nicolas Cage, because he was Coppola's whatever, he had a mega agent. He met Johnny Depp, who was just a musician at the time and not an actor, and told him, hey, you should meet my agent. I think you'd be a good actor. And that started Johnny Depp's career acting. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it, that got him into 21 Jump Street, and then the... Um, well, uh, fr- Friday the 13th, for, or not Friday the 13th, uh, what, the Freddy Krueger movie. And then into oh, 21 no. Jump Street, yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, so Jacob McKenzie, thoughts on Dylan Baker shares his disappointment from when Sam Raimi called him and said Spider-Man oh, yeah, no he was going to play the, the lizard. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. He started telling me about the script he had written. He was ready to do and ready to shoot, but was not going to be able to be done at the time they wanted to be done. I think they were in danger of losing the Spider-Man license if they if yeah, they, if they, if they, if the they did the time frame if they, if they that Raimi wanted. Something, then they, they would lose but the What was really confusing is uh, it would have taken them another year First, I remember I watched movie news back then. It would take it Sam Raimi another year to do a Spider-Man four, and he didn't want to repeat the mistakes of three. He's like, "No, I'm going to do this right. Or I'm not going to do it." So they they canceled that, and they restarted another project. And the new Amazing Spider-Man came out a year after when Raimi was going to originally post the yeah, latest. So I don't under, yeah. I didn't understand. Maybe because they started the production fresh, they got an extension on the contract. You have to make Spider-Man movies within every so many years or you lose the life. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, but that that was weird. I'm but I was surprised. looking forward to that too. It would have been good to see, but you know. 
Uh, also, um, sorry, really quick, maybe I think y'all can answer this. So although we don't get Spider-Man proper films each year from Sony, uh, we get the adjacent, you know, um, Sinister Six uh, characters. So that still counts towards like I the requirement so. to, to yeah. keep the it's license. It's a weird, it's a weird agreement that Marvel did, you know, I'm sure everyone on the panel knows, but Marvel made these agreements in the 90s when they were facing bankruptcy. So he lost all the rights. So I I don't understand it completely. Um, yeah, there's still the, the, the Hulk is still under that. Like Hulk can appear. The Hulk is movies. the most confusing agreement out there. Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. most confusing out of the whole thing. Like, yeah, I just can't. Yeah. I think the way they handled it is good. I just I just want better for Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. But, like uh, he can't do much. Like I like the Machi Hulk. Hulk. I think yeah, that was, was better than he's been treating the, the movies. He was decent for the part he was in She-Hulk. He just he can't do that much because of Universal. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't. Oh, and um, Namor was, like, in there, too. So we got, like, a different version yeah, of Yeah, Namor him, is under the yeah, same Namor, agreement yeah. as Hulk. Yeah, they can't agreement. do a standalone yeah. Namor movie. Yeah, they can't. I'm pretty yeah. sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure if they did, it would make a ton of money. Oh, yeah. Like, his um his kingdom was, like, there's so much lore there. that I, Yeah, I like, so, yeah. It's, like it's, yeah. it's the same thing. All right, so uh, thoughts on Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes are probably has a runtime of two hours and 25 minutes, the longest film of the franchise. I wasn't looking forward to it, but then the recent trailers look good to me. Um, I'm hoping it's... Honestly, I I like Matt Reeves better as a Batman director than the Planet of the Apes director. Like, he gets so mm. much credit for that trilogy. He did the last two movies, which were good. He did the last two. But my favorite, the Still Rise, was, was the one he didn't direct. Yeah, he and, didn't direct uh, the first one. Yeah, I like the Batman first. better than I like his Planet of the Apes movies, honestly. So I, I'm happy some other director is doing the new Planet of the Apes. I'm interested. Um, it's supposed to be a whole planet of apes this time, like back to like the original Planet of the Apes where um, things have progressed so far for the, the, the world. <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a shot, especially for CGH, who's a huge Planet of the Apes fan. Two hours? That's not. Uh, that's a good runtime. I did not know that was the longest. Runtime doesn't runtime. really mean yeah. anything to me, because I'm I'm all about longer movies if they're good. If they're bad, it's rough. So I, you know, you got to get my twenty five minutes of credits. Yeah. Um, let me see. Mass Vigilante. It seems Daniela Melchior. Is, A.K. the Rackhead Hatcher 2 is really open to explore the world of Guns DCU and rumor to be a Peacemaker season 2 right after the Superman movie. So now everything is being connected. I you would like that, the, right? Absolutely. Ratcatcher 2 was awesome. I remember people used to say Baycatcher. They love Ratcatcher 2. That is after the Suicide man, yeah. Squad. And I think she's a star. I actually thought she was going to I thought she had a chance to be the next Wonder Woman. Uh, because she's also doing the voice in animated form. I'm like, well, doesn't that kind of match with their plan? But it just might be a different version of Wonder Woman. No, she hasn't done the voice animated yet, but I think maybe. She is going to, though. Maybe may- maybe she does the Wonder Woman the video game voice. Who knows? No, she uh, doesn't. Uh, honestly, thing. this schedule that James, I don't know how he does it. Because I have He's, a lot of respect uh, for what James Gunn's planning to do. But he is literally, once... Superman Legacy stops filming. He is going right into filming Peacemaker season two. Yeah, man, that's because it says they're starting easy. to film Peacemaker season two in June. Yeah, yeah, and they're still months, filming yeah. Superman Legacy. And he's only eighteen percent done. That's well, insane. Well, he's not direct. He said he only directed the first two episodes, and after yeah, that, he's only... yeah, he's he's other directors are, are doing you, season, even yeah. if he's not directing each episode. Are you? T- he's going to be so hands on with that production. Yeah, I I give this to James Gunn. He's very good at working at some intensely, like at the same time. So and, and yeah, the the more the, the more recent, it's also interesting to see these new DC announcement coming out through the trades and through James Gunn himself lately. Oh, the, like um, the, the Super, Supergirl movie Supergirl. started production and later this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some of the castings. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty. We uh, probably get Supergirl casting later this year. 
Or what was what was that other one? A uh, Teen Titans movie? Yeah, the Teen Titans one. That was yeah. also announced through the trades. He didn't. He did not announce. That. He didn't debunk it either. It's pretty much nah, legit. He just, yeah, yeah. He hasn't but, said anything um, about it yet. Any, yeah. While we're thinking about on this topic on the mail, but anyone's thoughts on James Gunn's schedule of what he's doing right now? Really beyond well, anything that Feige's done, like this. Like well, he Feige didn't direct too. No, he's well, not a director. He's more of a pro- he's more of a producer than director. Yeah, he was. If I, he was more of a producer than a director. I think this was James Gunn. He's been a writer. He's been a producer. Yeah. and he's been a director. You see, he's done everything. So he, he's done everything from from Scooby Doo to Superman. You know, he's done he's done it all. And funnily enough, is that if James Gunn is being hands on on a lot of projects that are for the DCU. That means he's be, he'll be busy schedule. Now, I'm still wondering what is the case for the DCU Chapter 1, the rest of the hidden projects that, mm-hmm. you know, because remember, James Gunn has to given us the full Chapter 1 yet. He's only given us partial stuff. Well, I'll, so, I'll tell you what. People like to say I'm, I overly criticize James. If he pulls this off, yeah, and Superman Legacy is amazing, Creature Commandos comes out, people are like, it trends. Mm-hmm. And then also Peacemaker 2 also slaps. I'm going to use that in his fire. Uh, he deserves yep. all the credit he gets. Like, he really, yeah. he really Agreed. did take, save DC if if it happens. Yeah, I, if, yeah, yeah. That's a big if. I, yeah, have, yeah. Um, I have two points. I'm trying okay. to trying to Go make sure I throw them out there before I forget. Okay, so first one, I think um, Gunn is pretty good at, you know, hiring talent and giving some autonomy as far as like how, you know, to execute either be like, you know, an acting performance or an interpretation of a character. He kind of lets, you know, um, his um, creative, you know, partners, whether they be in production or on screen, um, you know, he lets them cook to an extent. So I don't want to diminish his like impact on the, on the productions of these films, but I think he is willing to, you know, like um, let folks, you know, who are, you know, driving the film, you know, not have to check in at every stage with him. He's not, you know, stamping like every approving everything. So that's my interpretation of it. And then like the second part, God, what is it? Um, uh, you did, 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 did. Oh, um, was, Circle back. I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> uh, it's all good. I think, think that he's it. been planning for this for 18 months plus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he knows exactly what he's doing. And this has been his dream. And uh, I don't think the work is going to scare him. And he's got it set up. I, he's so I, I, I think he's good at delegating and working with people. But yeah, I get that. But the thing is, obviously, he's getting some really good people to come in. Tom King. Specifically to work on, you know, be consultant for the Superman, sorry, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. Yeah. Like so far, like he has like directors that he's brought up. He has they have um interesting styles. Every director that they he brought in. So. Oh, yeah. I just remembered my um. Sorry, um. Go ahead, go ahead. I just remembered okay. my point. So, I kind of go back and forth um with William and Brad um, and I guess like his channel about like, what are the metrics of success, you know, for, mm. for these studios mm-hmm. and for Gunn, for example. And we go back and forth about it because um, there's this interpretation of, well, it has to have a higher budget in order to get a higher quality product. And I'm saying, well, no, like, you know, if, um, if, we're, if we're talking about success in terms of returns, having just, you know, like a 120 to $150 million, you know, budget, uh, where we are currently, um, in expectations of budgets that might seem kind of low, but if it's, if the IP like for Superman and the, you know, interest is there hitting, you know, maybe like, you know, 350, 400 million, that may not be impressive to a lot of people in our, you know, community, but for that studio, that might be, you know, reason enough to lean into, you know, the plan that follows yeah. that, that production and not necessarily, you know, yeah. uh, be reactive and pivot to something else. Yeah, I mean, even- if- the new Superman movie hits 700 million, 750. That's a success because it has no Superman movie ever done that before. So, so Man, Man of Steel was the, um, I mean, the one that made 600 something. Yeah, 670, but yeah. If, if it makes around there, like maybe 720 or 50, that's a success for, for your first you movie. See, if, it, if Superman makes 
above 700 million, that's a success. If it's make less than 400, then obviously the, the, there's a critical point now where David Zaslav is yeah. worried. Because you got to remember, David Zaslav obviously oversees everything. And he, 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 he only sees the the money that incomes. And once, you know, once, you know, if Superman's success, then I reckon there's still going to be a sale regardless. Because, like, he, he's the only, the, like, William and I were talking about this yesterday. Um, like, he he also believes that, you know, uh, David Zaslav was the middle guy that basically wants well, to make as much money to, to come in. Uh, as much money as he can to so, so they can sell off WBD so then he can make his money back, basically. Yeah. Well, the, honestly, Zaslov has gone on record saying everything's for sale. But yeah. with the success Warner Brothers has been having without DC right now, if DC's also on fire, like with sales and a big rebound with DC, would you still want to sell? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I think it's well, definitely possible that that rumor is true, that he is he ultimately David Zaslav is going to do what's best for him. I know. Yeah, we, I think could, we all agree yeah. that. We all agree with that. Yeah, he's going to do what's best for him, and he knows, like, that he inherited over four hundred billion or billion in debt. So we already know that. But the with, fact that Warner the, Brothers had a great year with Wonka, Dune two. Barbie, and then if he made the right decision and James Gunn actually pulls DC films out of the fire that they were in, uh, I don't. Will anyone want to comment on that? Raya, Voltaire. Yeah, Rhea, um, I guess like my comment is um, there's already sort of like you know a foot in the door for increased uh, licensing out of um, you know different projects or allowing other studios to work with these IPs, and. Um, yeah, I think like um, Max, I think you mentioned or someone else did. I think it was probably William too. Like, you know, if um, if WBD lets go of DC, that's, you know, quote unquote, like, you know, this the dumbest decision ever because that's, you know, such, you know, um, potential profit generator uh, for your brand. And he's um, I think William's convinced that, you know, that would be, you know, uh, that would get an adverse reaction from the board because of the uh, potential revenue for that um for that ip but um i think we should also give validity to you know how much licensing out and how many you know uh, streaming platforms and uh competing streaming platforms are getting these licenses of their existing films and it's becoming less of um you know an incentive for uh max uh for for consumers to have to you know access these um these films and this content from dc when it's uh being a uh, it's accessible on other platforms, especially free platforms like Tubi. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Max, circling back to what you said uh, about Zaslav saying everything's, you know, for sale. And um, that, you know, may also include um, uh, not just like, I maybe like individual licensing, because like, you know how Sony, you know, uh, yeah. they don't have a, a streaming platform, they kind of license out everything. So that might be a happy me medium where WBD keeps... Um, uh, you know, the IP of um, of DC and all its, you know, characters and stuff, but there might be, you know, selling off of like, you know, uh, not selling off, but licensing, you know, for that, you know, ongoing revenue stream, because like that's a little bit that. more, that's a little bit more easy to forecast um, in my mind than, you know, just uh, individual sales, you know, one and done sales, as opposed to, you know, licensing, which is re recurring revenue. All right. Right. Okay. I'm kind of going with, would it make sense to still sell it though? You think? It, it, well, if, if, if I mean, all, not if, sell, but license, but oh, like, you're saying like, either or. Like actually sell, like to Discovery or like the other rumors were suggesting, like I think what Talati was saying, like if they're doing better now, would it still make sense to sell it if they're doing the, if they start doing this good? Voltaire, what do you, do you have anything to add to there? Would you think, you know, the rumors that it's not proven that they're going to sell? But that, that was one of the theories about what Zazzle's plan to do is flip it, get rid of the debt, make it profitable, and sell it to another company. Should they still do that if if, if, all, if all their, it, at least a lot of their properties are really rebounding? If they if they make a Superman movie that makes over $700,000, I don't think they sell it at all. $700 million? $700 million. 
Yeah. Sorry, not seven hundred thousand. That wouldn't do it. But yeah, seven hundred million. <laughs> yeah, in terms of like you know selling for sure, licensing. Oh, absolutely. You know, I'll, I'll maybe even ramp leaning more into that too. Um, the license, yeah, the light. I agree with what you're saying. With licensing, right? That's really helped them too. It's very interesting to see DC pop up on Disney app on Disney Plus and Hulu. That happened this last week. Or Sandman yeah. on Netflix. That was a huge success for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's another. Yeah. Oh, that's and um, I think we were also speculating that you know Tom Cruise having like um, somewhat of you know an agreement to create more content, and then Margot Robbie as well. Uh, it's it's you know the optics of you know these high profile talents um, being oh. announced for working with Timothy WB Chalamet Rizzo. too. Yeah. Yeah. Tom so Cruise. like, I'm, it's um, for me, it's kind of like I have to remember that. Not every part of WBD is, um, is necessarily has to align to DC Studios. You know, DC yeah. Studios can, you know, kind of like be that anomaly. And then WBD as like, you know, a legacy brand, you know, they're going to, you know, prioritize that. And then like, you know, House of Dragons and other proprietary content, that's kind of like, you know, where they're leaning more into it. And then, yeah, with the DC Studios stuff, you know, it's it seems to be fair game as far as like less of a you know, focus to keep everything in house and more open to the idea of like, just, you know, gener generating any kind of revenue, whether it be like selling off different products to other platforms, or you, like, I keep saying this recurring revenue from the licensing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's a little more flexible, I think. Well, I don't want to, I, I do, I don't want to keep everyone, I don't want Voltaire to have an embarrassing moment on stream, especially, never, when, will never happen especially when there's so many witnesses, over 337, we don't want to hear almost Voltaire storing on stream. So I'll, I'll do like two or three more questions. Uh, CGH has really supported the stream with Super Chat, so it's really appreciated, man. So we'll get to your, he added a few questions here, and then we'll do one more mask vigilante or Jacob. And then I think I say we'll call it a night if that sounds good to everyone else. Yes, sure. that, that works. That, that, I mean, that works for me because we've got WrestleMania. Yes. Uh, so. Um, so CGH Entertainment says, do you agree that Hulk has been extremely underused in the MCU and the comics? He's probably the most powerful character besides Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider was able to take down Galactus. And I feel like Universal has held it back from them exploring the character. I mm, love Hulk. Yeah, I think there's I think there should be more Hulk. Yeah, I would love to see another Hulk movie, but it's just um, you can't do anything about it because Universal has the rights, well, and, no, they, no, that's... And, they, and then you can't exploit a lot of stuff from the character. But Anthony, yeah. the, it, that limits to him having a solo movie, but not to doing his character well in other properties. Yeah, like he could show up on cameos and stuff. But other than that, like you know, no, he could still have a big storyline in a movie. He just can't be yeah. the only. It can't be. I think as far as as much as I could tell, he just can't have. A Hulk movie. It yeah, could be like, a Thor and Hulk movie. He could have a major story in there. Yeah, like yeah, but you it, could show, it yeah, like you could show up other parts. I, I think that's that. the only limit. I don't think it's there's just, like, just like the, the yeah, character's the character been misread yeah. in, in, in a lot of things they've used him in. Yeah, the last few things we've seen him in, including yeah. uh, Endgame. I think that's yeah. part. I think part of it is the reason why Hulk is underused. Mm -hmm. Um. Is there somewhat of the Superman thing? Once you bring in Superman on going on all levels, it's like it's 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 over. Like yeah. it's not much of a challenge to go against the villains in some cases. Or the other aspect is like the MCU. I love the MCU, but the jokiness stuff. Some of like the characters, like like Drax. Even though James Gunn did a great things with Guardians of the Galaxy, some people still think Drax become came too much of a comic relief character. And not enough progression with the story. And I think something similar has happened to the Hulk and the MCU, you know, with Professor Hulk and you know, some of that other stuff where um, I, I think there's two things there the joke aspect, and then Hulk on all levels. You want to see the other, you want to be able to see the other Avengers have some input in beating the villain. And once he's on all, going on all cylinders, you know, that's harder. I think that's. That's, I think that's what's limiting. But anyone else wants to add anything and go go feel free. Uh, Hulk and that you know, any anyone else on uh, CGH's comment there about the Hulk? That's okay. We'll go. We'll move on here. All right. Uh, CGH Entertainment also says Anthony's thoughts on Fantastic Four being another universe like Sony verse. 
Uh, I wouldn't compare the Sony one, the Sony versus Dog. He's crap. just trying to get you to talk about Sony. You but, don't like the, yeah, I, I don't mind it. the Fantastic Four being in the universe. It's like, if you put him in the main MC, people are going to be like, what, what, what were they for the last 10 years of of the MCU? So, like, you know, nah, I'm good. That's just good. Um. I I just like that it's in this like in the sixties type thing. Yeah, like I like the cast. I like Pedro. I like who they got for the thing because I like them in Stranger Things. Um, or no, 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 I'm sorry, the bear. It's the guy from the bear. I like him in the bear. Um, who did they get for uh Vanessa Kirby? Human Torch. Human Torch. Or um, Joseph Quinn. Oh, that is from Stranger Things. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I, I do I do like the cast. Uh, I don't know how that's like if they are from another universe. How are they going to be in the mainline MCU? I don't know uh, how that. Probably work. after after Secret Wars, after they do their self reboot. I don't, yeah. That's probably going to be how they cross over to the main MCU. So. Yeah. All right. Let me see. God damn. Uh, Jacob says thoughts on Bill Burr's comments on appearing in the Mandalorian. It's one of my favorite things I've ever done in my career. And I will say, Star Wars fans are cool as hell. I I love that episode with Bill Burr. Uh, I wish they would bring his character back, but he had somewhat. Was he connected at all to Gina Carano's? Uh, no, not really. They could bring him back. I, they could bring him back. I mean, uh, I, I didn't. No, he didn't appear last season. That's, that tell me he, so is, season. he was supposed to be. He was going to be in uh, episodes of her the show, new, the, strain, the new probably, Republic he, show. He probably would have made a cameo on that, but I, th- I think he'd probably come back if they do a season four. If 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 they. Oh, do. all right. Here's here's CGH. We'll end on this one. One. We'll do these two. I'll I'll end with your CGH. Max Vigilante, Max 2006 anime movie, Monster House director Gil Keenan would love to return for a sequel to the old film. Your thoughts? They already did another uh, Monster House, didn't they, with uh, this year? Uh, I can't lose it. Uh, okay. I've never seen the old, I've never seen the 2006 one. I, I like watched it. a lot, a lot. Oh, you do, Raya? Okay. Yeah. I've House. never watched. Is that the one with Eddie Murphy? No. I might think it's something else. No, okay. No, oh, you're thinking of Haunted Mon- Mansion. Oh, Haunted yeah. Mansion. Monster okay. House is a horror animated movie. Haunted Mansion is the one they did this year. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hun- Monster yeah. House is okay. I'm mixing yeah, up. Monster House is an animated uh, movie that that is a horror slash comedy. So I've never yeah. seen it. I'll I'll check it out, Master. It got uh, Maggie Jenner. It's 3D Hall, animation or the, uh, 2D. It look like uh, 3D. 3D, okay. 3D, yes, 3D, yeah. Okay, but, I'll check it out. I've never seen. I that. mean, if he wants to make money, make like make money. So if he wants mm-hmm. to make a sequel, sure. All right, and then the last question for tonight, and then we're gonna call it a night, and then uh, uh, we'll do a Voltaire check. He'll, he'll either do the outro or he'll be <laughs> snoring. <laughs> never. <laughs> CJ, CJ is just fine. It's just okay. lay everybody go. Uh, CJ Entertainment should should they try Alien versus Predator again? The comics were way better. There was great video no. games. I think they should. I love that first movie. I mean, uh, you gotta have to build up to, to try Alien vs Predator again. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, just, you, have to, uh, you can't just jump straight into it. Now. You have to. Ju- you well, yeah, think, the, I, but he's just saying, should they do it? I'm sure they want to do it. I think well. I'll say this. I think after they do the the show on Hulu that that they're working on, and the next two um prey movies. I think they might do a maybe Alien versus Predator movie down the line, because be, and stuff like that. I think they will try it again. It's an IP that they have, and Disney has, and it will make them a ton of money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I I think they I really who here seen the did you see Alien versus Predator? Everyone? Yeah, the first one was I think yeah. it was decent. Yeah, yeah it, was decent. it was decent. And, and yeah, then I, and then fun. and then it just after the second one, I was like, okay, I think it was a great yeah. crossover movie. You know? Yeah, and then after that, it's just okay. Now it's getting ridiculous. Like okay, now. Nah. But the I I do I would add a caveat to that CGH that I don't think that time is right now. Yeah, because right. they are revitalizing both Predator and Alien. Yep. With Prey. 
and then which Alien Romulus, yeah. which is a more the tone of it is more serious than where when they did Alien versus Predator, both franchises were not they were doing like sequelitis, which were not good, well regarded sequels. Yeah. So even though I'm up for Alien versus Predator, not these versions until they've explored all their options with other storytelling and then they need to do something again, I would mm-hmm. say. I would just say it's not the right time right now. Because I'm Prey, I love Prey. Who here watched Prey? That, that was, was amazing. Yeah, Ann Trackberg is one of my get... favorite upcoming directors because I followed him since he was a movie pundit. Yep. Um and he's I'm doing really... two movies. He's doing a, a Prey sequel and one yes. is set in the future, which is yeah. crazy. Uh so I'm all for that. And then Alien Romulus, I've heard really good things from Fetty Alvarez. And Voltaire, aren't you the one that says Fetty's a really good director? No, I don't. Know. Or is that Perp? I think, uh, that's, I think maybe that, that Perp. I, maybe, think that's, I think that might be Perp. Perp. I'm not sure. Okay. But, uh, and then you got the Alien. Is it the Predator show or Alien show? The, uh, Alien Romulus. They're doing a. They're doing a no, Predator show too? No, 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 not Predator. They're doing an alien show on Hulu. Yeah. They're yeah, doing an so. alien movie and a show, I think. Yeah, they're doing an alien show. Yeah, I would say wait and see what, how that is first. Yeah, yeah. I, will, I will see how that first on Hulu. And then I think the new alien movie is going to be successful. It's going to theaters anyways. So if once these pop franchise is good in the public eye, I think they would do a, a crossover eventually. Well, I th- thank you, Taladia, Rhea, Voltaire, Anthony. Thank you for joining me in this uh, monumental X episode of MME Live. Um, I hope you know, at some point you're able to get monetized for all this view time that you're giving. Yeah, all this all this um, activity on their platform that maybe, you're sustained maybe, activity. Maybe StreamYard is counting it of people that I don't know if we have 360 continuous viewers or people that have clicked, like impressions clicked on the link. That's a good point. So I, I don't, see, I, I, I what, but on I actual see. Twitter, it says 345 plus, yeah. 347. 346 for me. So let me bring this up. Actual Twitter says, so I think that is continuous. That's pretty cool. And it's not like we had dips. We had pretty consistently climbing up, so. Mm-hmm. That's good retention. This is people on their phones scrolling through and finding it and welcome everybody and enjoy. Yeah. I'm, oh God, I'm that puppy. You again. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I hope you all had a great night talking about some nerd stuff. We had a lot of fun. And there is good to be found on X. You know, everyone's like, it's a trash fart. No, there's good stuff there. You just got to search for it, including this show. <laughs> so without further ado, uh, Voltaire, you know what to do here. Good night and good luck, everyone. And see you next time.